Schmidt. I'm Hamster Bomb. I'm Matt. And um, this is strange. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> um, I, I think we're on. I'm hoping that everything's working properly. All right, good. So, I guess. Um, you had to double check everything here. So, this is kind of different. We haven't done anything like this before. Hi, darling. Uh, is. I ship Goku and, and Vegeta. All right, excellent. Okay. I'm always for shippers. Everyone's allowed to ship. White Rose is best ship. So. And uh, Shiny Hunter Krista. This is a weird thing. We've never done this on here before, but um, I, I feel like like before we've recorded us opening a booster box. I could have... I don't know if we did. I feel like we have. I don't know if we ever did anything with... Anyway. No! I'm over here. Uh, so you have something to see. I'm on this side. Hi. I'm on this side. Matt's on that side. Look how much wider my hand is. Bring your hand back in. You are so much more tan than I am. Jesus. Well, uh, I guess I'm... Maybe I'm browner. Can I be more, um... Oh, okay. I was like, can I get more offended than you based on the color? Yes. But anyway, uh, yeah, I don't think we've actually gotten to film one. I think I think what I'm getting mixed up is we didn't film Magic, we filmed the Dragon Collection. We just never did anything with it. Maybe we did, yeah. Um, oh, at your place? That mm -hmm. makes sense. We might have filmed something at your place. But anyway, so this is the first time, at least on my channel, I've done a Magic the Gathering opening uh matt and i both really love magic and we wanted to get back into it more so in this new set throne of eldrain is amazing we both really love this and um we want to open this up uh live with you guys because honestly it's easier than having me edit a video together and i'm just too <laughs> what lazy do you about mean? it you're great at that it's quick and easy you can do it at like a push of a button it doesn't take any skill or time <laughs> or effort and we also do um Dragon Tamer, and oh, Gabriel's asking, Matt, how do you feel about Rajang? I'm okay with Uncle Bad Touch coming back. I mean, Tigrex, Tigrex was my enemy coming back. The instant he came back is when I cried. Four more days. Four more days. And the thing is, we're not, like, I know Rajang's coming out, but we are not ready. No. Like, we're not. I got, mm. And that's the sad thing for me. I kind of wanted to be ready for him to come out, but they put him out so quick. Unlike Joe, who took, like, um, two or three months to come out. Mm-hmm. So, but if anything, he'll be fun. And then we'll hunt the tempered Savage Devil Doe and a tempered Rajang at the same time, eventually. We'll have to try and find that investigation, because mm -hmm. that'll be fun. Also, we're glad to have you here, Shiny Hunter Krista. You know, we can do something fun. I, I was hoping that uh, this wouldn't be a dumb, random thing that nobody would care to see. Also, I'm sorry if you hear me chewing. I'm finishing eating something right now. It's a stromboli by the look of it. Yeah, um... Is it a stromboli? What did you make? It's just a frozen, cheap stromboli. Yeah, that's all it is. <laughs> I was about to say, it looked like stromboli, which is, like, the greatest thing of pizza ever. I freaking love strombolis. Mm -hmm. Well, the frozen ones aren't that great. No, no well, nothing frozen's great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe he's a uh, lonely boy just going to make some educated guesses. Trading card game. If you know, honestly, anything about um, Hans Christian Andersen and, you know, those stories uh, like that, knights and whatnot, that's all... Um, the theme is this time well, what it, in the podcast like he explains it as um grim fairy tales meets camelot yes the words too which i honestly after looking at the card said it's like yeah that's actually a really good well i mean of course <laughs> it's really good he helped make the entire set so i can't really say he didn't oh scissors thank you there you go oh boy yeah, choking over here scissors sharp pointy objects for matthew to play with so anyway before we get into this um we're planning on uh, doing a draft game after this. I'm going to pull this out of the view for a minute while I get this unwrapped. Yeah, we're not going to do it live, the draft game, by the way, but um, here's my finger. Well, here. Yeah, look at this nice pair of scissors while I get this set up. Oh, you'll stab look, me with Look at that beautiful pair of scissors. Anyway. Um, so anyway. This Halloween. Is this going to be uploaded to the channel? Uh, well, all of my live videos end up on the channel. That's why I look. This one has you decided on it. to do it like this. So anyway, we can kind of slide that back under so they can see all those. Look, I haven't even seen all these. It's you. What the heck? <laughs> like, I'm not even joking. It's Sir Hamster. <laughs> Look at that. That's so even weird. I'm joking. You're Why did you it. give Matt scissors? <laughs> oh, that's not... He gave me an X-Acto knife one time, and that was great. So how do you want to do this? Oh, what? Uh-huh. Yes, yes. Hand gestures, hand gestures. Um, um. What about um, my string? Y y yes, yes. What? You like string. Mm -hmm. I'll get you some string. No. No? You want wool. Wool. I can get you wool. No. More? More no. wool? Isn't three bags wool enough? How much more do you want to take from my family, Black Sheep? 
<laughs> Sorry, I can't help it. I'm a jerk. <laughs> I need all your chickens. No! Not Sir Clucks a lot. <laughs> I need him. Anyway. So. A thick pair of scissors. So thick. So sharp, so pointy. Anyway. Okay, so. We want to try and do like a draft game after this. And we've actually, um. Honestly, the last time in. We can remember. I could have sworn we've gone to one before of a draft at a Friday Night Magic for a pre release event. We definitely know I did because I was in the system. I yes, Matt, you were in the system. I think so, I joined you I think physically, you joined me. but I we weren't like both playing because we did do Friday Magic at one point. And then that was the time you got your butt destroyed by mountains. I got mine destroyed by Infect, and I was so mad because I hate Infect. Gabriel's pointing out that the um, uh, middle one, uh, Rowan, mm -hmm. actually looks like Kim. That makes it even weirder. So anyway, um, but yeah, so we had been there before, we'd play this, and honestly, we'd forgot about it, it was so long ago, and just, uh, what, about a week and a half ago now? Uh, Three we... weeks. It was right before I started working. Really? Okay, so yeah, it was um, several weeks back, and uh, we went to a pre-release event for the first time, we both got Oh, no, the pre-release, yeah, that was last week. I thought you meant when yeah. we got started getting back. Yeah, I could have sworn that was about a week and a half Yeah, ago. that was so about a week ago. We did both get to play, and you, like, open a bunch of packs, and you have to build a deck out of whatever you get. And so... What might be a little fun, I think, is since we got to open them anyway, how about we try and, like, alternate, okay. and then from, because this is going to be divisible by two, it should be 36 in there, right? Yes. So, once we alternate, those stacks are what we're going to have to work with. Maybe we can do, like, a tradings, interims thing later, but obviously all these are Matt's for the record. I just want to thank, this is Matt getting his box nice enough to come on uh, for the channel to open these up here. Well, any deck we make, we'll probably just end up splitting anyway. The only one that I want is if I do get the Rowan Planeswalker, I do want to keep that one. Heck yeah. So uh, There's a bunch of awesome Planeswalkers in here. There's also the, um, oh, they're, they're all yours, man. I'm not No, I mean, them. no, I meant, if you like, make I'm a deck that works, go ahead, keep it. I don't care. I got this essentially for free just for doing yard work. <laughs> so, I mean, it was a nice surprise. Man, I, I want to do some yard work and have that happen. No, you do not. That it was really hard work. I wonder what kind of Yu-Gi-Oh cards are you going to be in here. No. Uh, this, so, is the, this is the card game that makes sense and uses proper English. Right, and doesn't end friendships. So, um, how about we get started, Matt? All right, I'm just for opening, I'm going to move these over here. That's fine. Because, I mean, they don't really need to mm -hmm. be here. Uh... Are you going to want the scissors? I think the foil's a lot lighter this oh, time around. I think we're okay. We know how to open these. All right. I honestly might open them sideways when I do it like this, so I hope that's you not... Gotta, you got to open yours. You got to open, open, open me. You got to open, open you. Open sir. I, are those the only two? No, no there's, there's a dragon. There, there's a dragon. Yeah. Um, Give me a sec. I'm moving stuff around. There's a lot of you, though. <laughs> you know it. There's a lot of you. All right. I was moving some stuff around there, so we got... This is a really strange way to do this. In fact, can we move this back? Yeah, let's move, move it as much as we need to here. All right. We're going to have a little bit of a cable, maybe, but um, this is just so that I can open this This is up. a very informal live stream. We're just doing this for kicks and giggles. Right. Also, uh, I hope I can see all the... Uh, rub the pack for good luck, of course. Well, no, you spin the what, pack. What, didn't we... All right, we spin the pack. We'll spin that the was pack. it. Spin the pack, and then we used to rub it on my dog. Yes. We got to rub... And spin the pack for good luck. All right. I'm going to open uh, the honorary first one of um, Sir yeah. Hamster. Or Hamster what Knight. Which one? What is that? I don't know. I'm going to try and preserve it so I don't ruin it. So we oh. at least get one of each. So I do like saving some of these because the art on their packs are really cool. There you go. There you, you go. go. You push, push it out. Push from the bottom. Push it out. Like right, I cool. Also, there's going to be... Uh, I'm open, Sorry, I'm pulling it out over here just in case there was like a code for Arena. There's not. So... No, there shouldn't be any codes for Arena. Okay. That's just, only on the pre-built decks. All right. Just wanted to make sure. All right. So anyway, here we are. So I, I, I don't know any, have any other way on the side. Here, what, come on, come sit by yeah. me. Why I are you sit so over by closer by, by my, my buddy Matt. There you go. Get right next to me. Here we are here. All right. I want to make sure our focus wants to be our friend here. Maybe just what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set them down. Yeah, I mean, but it's, it's going to be a little it's farther gonna away. It's going to want to fight the focus. Right, well, right now, it, I honestly, can you just hold this up for me for a second? There we go. Um, just because I want to get this set up, I think I'm going to have to put this focus on manual, and it's really janky if I put it on auto. Actually, it's probably on um, manual right now. It's like a window. Yeah, it's on manual. So here, I'm going to just hold it at the spot where you would come right there. Uh, right well, there. I'll put it over You would hold right it here. about there? Yeah. All right. 
I'm just gonna move our focus manually to here. There we go. I mean, that should be good enough. Even if we go down, that's not a too deep of out of focus. All right, so I'll just try and hold it nicely like that so we can get started. So, uh, fortifying provisions, I don't really remember. That You've used that before. Oh, yeah, I, I think I did, yeah. I, we I never just... got the, the second ability. We just kind of use it as a zero plus one as a quick save my butt. Yeah, I think um, in the pre-release, I played white-blue, and you played... I played green-white. Green and white. Yeah. All right, so... We're trying to get to the right spot. Fortifying provisions. Uh, Tome Raider. <laughs> Love that one. The Crystal Slipper. I don't think we ever found... Um, no, we didn't get that one. Yeah, we never found one of those. The Bartered Cow. I love that card. Kill the cow. Kill the cow. Yeah, Do you're it. basically killing the cow. Malevolent Noble. I don't think I ever found one of those. I had that. I had fight... I had that. I fought someone with that, and my god, it became a monster coin. Really? Yeah, I can kind of see that be a, a bad one. Rose Thorn Halberd. I have that. It's pretty cool. I used that to make the goose fight. Unexplained Vision. Oh, it's actually got Rowan in it, in the art. Uh, draw three. Wow, that's nice. And there's a lot of them with that Adamant ability. That's a that's a pretty good, useful ability. Knight of the Keep. There's a Red Cap Raiders. Uh, Mystic Sanctuary. Okay, so uh, one of the lands. I don't remember. There was, was a lot one? of different kind of lands, but none of them are dual colors. So this one enters the uh, battlefield tapped. Unless you control three or more other islands... And then when it enters untapped, you may put target instant or search to card from your graveyard on top of your library. Oh, so it's a mid-game land. Yes, and also it would give you a free effect. Uh, Shrine Chaser. So now we're getting some uncommons. A Shine Chaser. Shoot, those are my colors. I could have had one of these. That would have been helpful for my deck. I mean, if you still want to play that color, you can. Uh, yeah, well, you never know. Giant Opportunity. You may sacrifice two foods if you do create a 7-7 seven, seven green giant. <laughs> I actually was doing something of a giant board wipe. Into the Story, a very cool one. Costs three less if an opponent has seven has seven or more cards in the graveyard. Draw four. Cool. Uh, Folio fancies. I did play this. You did play this. This is a weird one. You have no maximum hand hand size. The trick though is to just force them to keep drawing. Force stack them out. Yep. It's a planes. I love the um, art for these two. We're gonna move on. So um, my turn. I'm gonna put a the stack of this back here. We spin for luck. Spin it for the luck. Spin it for the luck. Oh hey Iris. Yeah, well, this came out of nowhere. <laughs> Look, we got bored. It's Sunday. It's raining outside. There's nothing to do. <laughs> yeah, can you try and um, heal him over here? I'm trying Just to. So that... The reason I'm not is because if my hand slips, this thing's oh, going down. Oh, okay, yeah. So it's like, I show the booster, but I'm going to open them over here. Oh, at least open the booster over here. I need this. Right. Thing. You do? Yes. Here you go. Uh, actually, They're yeah. dummy thick, and I, I can't believe I'm giving you actually, scissors no, I got twice. Actually, no, I got it. All right. No, I still want to hold those scissors. I just want to hold them. Anyway, welcome everybody else who's joining new. This is really weird, we you know. Just roll with it. Hey, We're you know what? Packs. Magic's fun. Yeah, magic is fun. We're also going to alternate um, opening packs, because we're going to try and do a draft game after this. <gasps> I love some unicorn. I, I mean, I love the adventure cards. Also, just fair warning, guys. Do you guys, need to move so you can yeah. get around here? Just, just another fair warning. I have very shaky hands. It's just kind of some minor neurology, ne neurology stuff, so I'm, I'm shaking... It's normal. It's just weird. I apologize. This light's in the way. How did you do this? Oh, here we go. Yeah. So we got the Lonesome I, Unicorn. Yeah, I kind of pushed with my left hand over. Okay. I got to get remember, too. Your thing's center here. Yes, closer closer would be better. Let's see. Didn't say please. I do like this card. Didn't say please. It's a, it's an unsummon, but... Can you lower a bit? Yeah. No, I meant, like, um this oh. way. Yeah, if your hand's okay. kind of having issues, then... Yeah, I got to just kind of hold my hand. That's why. Okay, that's, Let's see. that's good there. We the Flying see. Knight, I made him fly with the... Rimrock Knight? Wait, why is he flying? Because I had my, um... Oh, God, what card did it? I had a card that gave me, give whatever creature you want flying. So I made him fly constantly. Oh. <laughs> so it was the Flying Dwarf. Oh, yeah. Well, a flying 3 ones pretty good. True Love's Kiss. That has saved me before. Yeah, that's pretty good. You had to read it. Memory Theft. Memory that's kind of new. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose an on-land card from it. That target player discards that card. You may put a card that has an adventure that player's own. Oh, so you can just get rid of. Oh one my their gosh! So cards. someone did that on me. I had my my mythic rare giant. Oh, I was no. getting ready to play him, and they happened to have this. Like, oh no. That's not fair. Right. Rose Thorn Advocate. Rose Thorn oh yeah, this one's broken. Oh yeah, I think you also got the um, alternate of this in a collector booster earlier. Yes. Very cool. I love that one. That's very helpful. It's helpful and it's broken and I love it. Knight of the Keep Another again. Knight of the Keep. Good. Just a basic 3 2. It's always good. Yep. Another Red Cap Raiders. Red Cap Raiders. Can you uh, come closer? There you go. There you go. 
Let's see. Mystic Sanctuary again. Okay, yeah, that's good. Getting another one of those. Uh, Covetous Urge. A we had this one. Target, yes. target opponent reveals their hand. You may choose a non-land card from it. Put it in the graveyard or exile it. You may cast that card as long as it remains exiled. Yep. Oh, so put, you get to pull mm -hmm. it out whenever you want. Yeah, and you also get to pay it with any mana color. So um, I put the one I found in my discard deck. Oh, that's Because that's mean. just what it's for. Yeah. There's that owl Ooh, again. Arcanist Owl. Very cool. Those were the... I actually found one of those, and I did put him in my deck. Never once played it, and it was like the reason I chose those two colors. He's kind of hard to pull out. Um, Fervent Champion. Fervent Champion. First Strike one, and Haste. Wait, one red. First Strike Haste? One, one. Whenever he attacks another target attacking knight you control, gets plus one and another equipped ability to attack. Good lord. Is that a rare? Yeah. I was gonna say, that's so you way just too equip good. a lot of stuff to it. Yeah, and Iris, uh, we've been playing a good amount of Arena as well. Yeah, we have. There we go, I got oh, a shiny. He, wait, is that a foil rare? Foil rare. Very cool. The acclaimed contender. Come on, man, show that foil off. Show him that shiny. Shiny, shiny. Show him that shi shiny. Ooh, that shiny. is very shiny. nice, shiny, shiny. What's that do? Uh, when what? it enters the battlefield, if you control another knight, which if I'm playing a knight deck, I do. Mm -hmm. You just got at, two rares on Look them. at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal a knight, aura, equipment, or legendary artifact card among them and put them in your hand. Put the rest in the bottom of your library in any order. And then just three for a three three is already a good deal. That is a darn good card. You want to leave that one out? Well, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna sort them in my box over there. Okay, sure, go. for sure. We'll then I got a mountain and a token. It's not the baby pig. Okay. What's the other side? Is there another side? No, it's just a. Ah, uh, it's an ad. Okay. Um, I'm used to the double sided, because they made some double sided tokens if you buy like deck boxes and stuff. They did. Okay, right. what one do you Shit. want? Do you want another one this of you? This one's on top. I'll get another, uh... Another Alex? Well, actually, you know, honestly, um, as long as I get one of each art at one point... Well, I mean, we'll so trade them. Would like to collect those. I just want to keep it in order. All Let's right, spin it for good luck. Here. All right. Where's Let's see. Comments. And then I'm going to scoot over your way in a bit. Scoot my way. Scoot your way. Scoot right next to me. Right next to you. Rubbing butts. What is it in the butt? Rubbing butts off screen, no one sees us doing it. They can't prove if we are or not. They can't prove it. Rubbing butts. <laughs> Rubbin PG-13, butts. everyone. We keep it PG-13 here. <laughs> touching butts, yeah, touching butts. Which means we're allowed to do whatever we want. What do you got? Touching butts. We're not touching Og butts right okay. now. Ogre Errant. Um, I don't think I remember this dude. Nope, he's red. Uh, a 3-4, whenever he uh, attacks another target attacking knight, gains menace till the end of the turn. Yeah, see what I'm thinking? Like, if you find a bunch of knights These stuff, knights are sounding a lot like allies, and I love it. Yes, that's how they work, and they're crazy. There's some knights that are just busted. Um, I was thinking for our um, game that we play, we might even just, like, trade around some stuff. I love the Wistful Merfolk. I played a bunch of those in mine. We might just, like, swap some. You're know, like, mm -hmm. I might have pulled these knights that you really oh, want to yeah, use, we'll and I want to we'll play those. We'll swap things be like, hey, can I use that card? It's like, sure. Blood Haze, Wolverine, uh, Twinville Tree Folk. Uh, a lot of people were playing this because it's one of the biggest creatures you can get. It is, but with... honestly, it's not that great for the cost. No, he's not, but in a. Um, just to have a common version of a really big creature was really helpful in those decks. I was seeing people play green black very effectively. Forever Young. Forever Young. That's another great one. The Wicked Guardian. I don't think. Uh, I, I don't think we uh, pulled this. Yeah, I don't think so. The Evil Stepmother. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you're gonna have a deal two damage to another creature you control if you do draw a card. Oh, that's mean. It's so mean. Prophet oh, I of the love this. <laughs> Prophet of the Peak. I just love its flavor text. It has my favorite right. one. It frequently predicts imminent death by devouring. <laughs> it's always right. Uh, when Prophet of the Peak enters the battlefield, Scry 2, he's a 5-5. Five, five. He's pretty good for his GP. Scorching Dragonfire, this was, I was getting hit by a lot of these. Those are good. Merfolk Secret Keeper. Um... I think in that collector booster, um, we had the other version of this one. I have not seen the normal one. Merfolk Secret Keeper, Merfolk Curiosity. Yeah, this is a it's a really good one for like one blue. You get a zero four to block with, yep. and then it's other ability. Glass, Glass Casket. casket. I'm this one's a gamble play, and I love. Really, I haven't seen this one at all. So it's a white artifact. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, exile target creature and opponent controls a creature mana costs three or less until it leaves. So yeah, it's kind of like pacifism, isn't it? It's like a pacifism. But it's kind of nice, because if you return it to your hand, you can pull it back out. Mm, thunderous Snapper. I love a him. Green-blue Giant Hydro Turtle. Turtle, turtle. A Bog Naughty. I have not seen anyone play this one either. Well, in the previews. Um, flying oh, Sacrifice. Oh, that's me. Whoa! <laughs> that's actually really mean. It is good. I mean, he's kind of expensive for a 3-3 to get out, but he flies. He flies, and he has that ability, mm -hmm. so... 
All right, in the Backlance Paragon is a human knight. When he enters the battlefield, target knight gains death touch and lifelink until the end of the turn. He's the Black Knight. Yep, and he's a 3-1 for 2 on top of all that. And you can flash him. That changes things. You flash that. And a beautiful island. Yeah, the land cards in the set are amazing. There we go. Oh, hey, look at oh, that. I got the On the on Adventure. An adventure. Very cool. Yeah, because this is supposed to be like uh, where you put things that are exiled temporarily. Right. right? That's cool. Good right. little token. All right. I'm going to open an Alex pack. Uh, a, uh, There's a dragon pack. A nice hamster if you knight. want that one. Um, I have just two of the hamster packs, so I want to try and at least get one of each. Okay. What are our comments saying? I can't read from here. Um, so let's see. Well, Is anyone coming to give about, us food? How do you feel about Galarian Ponyta, Matt? I would love it if it wasn't Ponyta. Like, that's the thing. It's freaking adorable. Right, but it's so cute. The but... fact that they're like, oh, it's a Galarian form. It's like, okay, now you guys are just getting lazy. Yeah, so it, if it was just a new Pokemon. Just make it a new Pokemon. And make it like a member of the Ponyta family. Like, right. in the deck, say it's a member of the Ponyta family. And I wouldn't have as much issues with it. But then again, I'm not even buying Sword yeah, Shield, so... Yeah, me neither. And it just seems lazy. It's just more of the same stuff that they keep coming out and with. And I'm still mad about the whole Farfetch not being a samurai. Instead, they make him a knight. That's Doesn't that seem so racist and offensive? It's just not right. It's so backwards. I need this. <laughs> Give me the do, pointy object. Do you want me to do it? No, right? I want the pointy object. I, I, Give me the scissors. Okay. <laughs> just nervous about you with cards and snippy 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 um was the booster box a gift from matt oh no th th matt i just got a bought... um hundred dollar amazon card and i'm like i have nothing to spend this on really so it was 98 bucks for a booster box on amazon which is an awesome deal so he just decided to open this up and we were going to uh do like a draft game oh uh, yes this. if i can get enough of these i will so do make this a deck please tell me you found seven dwarves seven dwarves that's the first one i've even seen if i can get enough i'll make a deck okay so what's the weird about dwarves. them is you're allowed to play seven of the seven dwarf cards in your deck so this is so weird if you can do it please do it so let's see we got that seven dwarves fairy the godmother fairy guide mother yeah i've actually that's not, not one bad of those for a flying one one what's its adventure do uh, target uh, creature gets 2-1 and flying until end of turn, so that's not bad. That's really good. And then for a flying 1-1, one, one, yeah, that's that's excellent. Run away together! Run away together! <laughs> I love that card. <laughs> so funny. Let's see. Uh, there you are! Ember Paladin. There you are, that's you! You're an Ember Paladin. Oh wait, that's me! It's you a, have... It's, ha it's Hamster Knight! You cost 4. I'm a haste 4-1. I come out, I hit really hard, then I'll die immediately. Well, no, if you have at least three mana spent on this spell, you get a plus one, plus one counter. Oh, so you're a five, two. A haste five, two. That's actually really good. It's really good. Oh, uh, no. Giant skewer. That's oh, not, it's skewering. It's it's not the baby. See, that's, yeah, that's, that's not the piggy. The piggy? Okay. If I get the piggy or the wolf card. Yeah, there's like a boar token that's really sad. The curious pair, Hansel and Gretel. Yep, Hansel and Gretel. It's kind of hard to see them. One yeah, to create a food token. Wow, that is a great deal. That's a Food very tokens good deal. are really expensive to make. Woodland Trash card, Pepe is nowhere in that card. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, the Wildwood Tracker. When he attacks or blocks. Uh, lower it a bit? Yes. Lo yeah, lower is in like on screen. There you go. There we go. So whenever it attacks or blocks, if I control another non human creature, it gets plus one, plus one. I mean, for one, getting a 2 2. That's pretty great. That's pretty good. Scorching, Scorching Dragon, Dragon Fire. Fire. God, that hurts. That's always helpful. The, the jousting, jousting dummy. dummy. <laughs> I love his flavor. He's like, don't let it fool you. Many of us have gotten our first scars from Sir Nobody. <laughs> it's actually not bad. It's it's not. It's good for damage dealing quick. This is a good card. Yes, I had this card in my deck. I for wish I did. I, I There were so many good white and blues that I just didn't get to play. I mean, for two to tap two creatures is I know. I it's, love it. It's like the, uh, the Ice Queen. Lucky Clover. Oh, I, I never saw this one. Whenever you cast an adventure, incident, or sorcery spell, copy it. Whoa. You may choose new targets. That's broken for Whoa. two. Whoa. Put, yeah, put that in a red burn and a blue um, draw deck. And it's just two. You don't have to pay anything extra. That's it. It just keeps happening. It just keeps happening. That's busted. Whoa. Oh, oh my gosh. This is grounds. so good. This is the night one. So I can tap to add any mana, a uh, gray mana, uh, which gray, is uh, Yeah, neutral. color one, colorless, or it's um, I can red, choose any white, of the three, or black. Which is what? I, um, we should know this. I forget what that's called. I know red, white is Boros. I know white, black is called Orzov. Black, red is called Rakdos. I don't know what all three are together. But anyway, that that combo is only for knights. So that's the knight land. That's not bad. No. Let's see, mysterious pathfinder. Is that a foil? 
Nope, it's the wrong. Wait, what? How'd you get a rare? Oh, no, that was the uncommon. Okay. Uncommon. I thought that was the... How'd you Flying. Get... Each creature you control that has an adventure enters the battlefield with a plus one, plus one. That's not bad. Whoa. That would have been so helpful. There's oh, a rare land. passage. Search your library for a basic land card. Put it on Put the, the left tap, tap it. library. Then if you control four, untap it. It's just a flat-out better Terramorphic Expanse. Oh, yeah, it's a much better Terramorphic Expanse. We got another new beautiful mountain. mountain. Do we have a token? We oh, got a bear! Bear! <laughs> bear! Green Look at bear. the bear! Also got his gem for <laughs> sure. Ah, oh, Rabita Xenogio. I can't wait to get uh, wrecked by Final Fantasy Cooley Aku. Oh my god, that thing is gonna try mean. To do I'm going to get a, a Rowan pack. Maybe we're lucky and we will find a Rowan. That I would, would be love to find her. Well, now here, Rowan, the actual planeswalker, you bought it was in a yeah, that's deck in box. Axe that's box. different. This is her and I think her brother, technically? or It's supposed to be uh, Red Riding Hood and Boy Blue, I think. Oh, okay. Now, the character, I forget his name, but yes, it's... Because um, it's a red-blue deck, which would be fun. Yeah. Well, actually, I think you have another red-blue planeswalker. It would be very good to play those. Especially with that artifact you just got that duplicates what they do oh my god sorry i'm trying to be careful with this one because i want to save these you want some scissors no i don't scissors no, i can get it scissors i got it so you check it out scissors, scissors, scissors. Check, check it out see the thing i did i'm gonna save them i probably should be opening them from the bottom but i mean it's all right we got plenty here so we're... ah it's a sign is it so a bear rowan art token on the back maybe maybe i do need bear tokens so if we get the bear tokens i really do Apparently. need those <laughs> there you go let me get out of your way i'm gonna skip over a little bit here all right so Starting with the Crystal Slipper. It's weird. Like in That's what, honestly a very good artifact. Was this like five packs in and we've already gotten multiples of these? Yes, this is good. So, Because you can basically hand out haste if you have the uh, points and the power. That's yep. great. Like this reminds me of um, Lightning Greaves. Oh, those are broken. Those are so broken. Uh, Hello. But it's close to that. The Bartered Cow. <laughs> um, Moonlit Scavengers. I remember having against those. Those are... Really? Another merfolk. I didn't see this one. Yeah, when it enters the battlefield, if you control an artifact or enchantment, return target creature and opponent controls to the. Whoa! It's pretty much a here's a four five plus an unsummon. Half yeah, time. it's really expensive, but um. It's expensive, but it's not hard. Yeah, but in drafts, you need good expensive commons. Barge in. That's another that good coin. one. Reaper of night. That thing wrecked me. Um. Yeah, this is an expensive one. So target put. Oh, this is. I just put this in my discard deck too. It was the alternate art though. Whenever it attacks, the player has two or fewer cards in hand, gains flying. That is just crazy. Yep. A return to nature. You gotta love sweet, that. Sweet. And the steel gaze griffin. I do like that. A wildwood tracker. Scorching dragon fire. Jousting, Jousting dummy. Lovely. The inquisitive puppets. Little Pinocchio. Uh, the Enders Battlefield Scry 1, Exile, the Inquisitive Puppet, Creed 1 1 White Human Creature Token. <laughs> Which is actually kind of cool because you can choose either do I do you want a 0 defense? 2. Yeah, do you want a 0 2 or do you want to be a 1 1? Mm hmm. Yeah, that's not bad. Plus, you get a Scry out of it for only one mana. Elite Headhunter. It's a knight, a the Black Red Knight. Okay. Menace, which is an old ability coming back. It's really good. Sacrifice another creature and artifact. It deals two damage to our creature planeswalker. So if you desperate enough, you could start killing your own creatures to kill them. Which is a valuable option. That's yeah, possible. And uh, into the story, it's a good one to get an advantage. And Iron Crag Pyromancer. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, Iron Crag Pyromancer deals three damage to any target. Which, if you're playing a red blue four. deck, mm -hmm. easy enough. Nice new island here. And another on an adventure. Oh, on an adventure! Well, just might as well put that in your little stack over there. This is over here. Just to make sure that we both had one. So we can both have characters on an adventure. I'm choosing the Dargan. Choosing the Dargan, giving Dargan. a spin. Giving the Dargan spin. Uh, that's what uh, Basil Juice does during my quests. Just trying to catch up on Gabriel. Good. The B-52 so, bomber. Yeah, the B... <laughs> um, and I'm so excited for Rajang. So am I. I love Rajang. Though, um, I, I gotta say, uh, Savage Joe, I, I'm so excited to fight him. Um, I haven't played any farther in the story, obviously, from when we've live-streamed, guys, so I am still, uh, story-wise, at fight the Folger Anjanath. We might be doing that soon. Matt, I think story-wise, you're at the same spot, right? Same exact spot. I'm hunting for roars and stuff. So, True Love's First Kiss, or True Love's Kiss. True Love's Kiss. The Witching the Well. Witching Well. It's a scry two, and you can sacrifice it to draw two cards. That's, that's helpful early and late. That's good. 
Hey, it's there me! There you go. There he is again. I didn't realize that I was in this set, but now I guess I know that. Fell the Peasant! <laughs> Fell the Peasant deals five damage to target creature with flying creative food token. It's a... It fell the pheasant, but that's a giant. Why would it be five damage? That's insane. Um, yeah, it's only two. I see that. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. With flying, it's gotta fly. Okay, a lot of stuff in this deck flies. It's a fairy. That's true. Yeah, that is true. Memory, Memory thefts. Theft. Could you go a little? Uh, yeah. Yep. We need like an X or something down there so we know where we are. Brimstone tor. Oh, uh, this hurt me a yeah, lot. Yeah, that's a good one. Because the person I was fighting just kept doing it at the end of my turn and the end of his turn. So it was just boom, boom, boom. That's just crazy. So, yeah, it just keeps Defender Reach, but you can choose to keep uh, throwing one damage at them. They're on a countdown timer. Yep. Which is kind of how I treated the uh, Ginger Brute Man. I hate that Ginger Brute. Tall as a beanstalk. I don't remember this one. Chant Gucci gets plus three, plus three, and is, in a giant, and is also a giant in addition to its other types. Which would save you from other things. Uh, the Vantress Paladin. That's pretty sweet. What is it riding? Like a griffin? It's riding that Owl griffin. Sphinx? No, the griffin card you just pulled. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, he's got Adamant as well. Adamant, I felt like, was actually... I thought it was going to be knights that were going to dominate the pre-release. It was actually the ability Adamant. It was just destroying in every deck that I was playing against. And I didn't have any adamant cards, which sucked. So this is like the islands, except when it, if it enters on top, you can put a plus one, plus one on target creature control. So those are handy. Free plus one, plus yeah, one. Those are very handy. Create Rally two, the one, one white human tokens. If at least three white mana was spent, you gain one life for each creature you control. Oh, that's good. Very nice. That's that Another turtle hydra. snapper. Bog naughty. That guy's just nasty. That's just me. It's just nasty. A uh, oh, wildborn preserver, an elf archer. Flash, Flash and reach. Reach. Whenever another non-human creature enters a battlefield under your control, you may pay X. When you do, put X plus one oh, plus those one stay. counter. Oh, those stay. They stay. Oh. Oh man, nice swamp there. A beautiful swamp, and I gotta go. A goat. Is uh, he running up with someone's boot? Yes. That's awesome. I love him. I shall name him Phil. Yeah, Banana Man. I want to see a Savage Joe Rajang turf war. Though, um... They, if, don't, they don't actually turf war. They just kind of fist bump and then slowly turn towards you. Yeah, right. If we don't see a, um... A turf war... Or if we don't see a Furious Rajang, which I don't see how that's not happening, um, I'm going to be disappointed. I want to see Furious Rajang. I know. I mean, here, like, Savage Joe is already in the game. We know that. He's there. He's Why there. would you make Savage Joe and not Furious Rajang? Plus, they already did, like, there's a... There's, like, a Savage Furious version of uh, Basil Juice, right? I know he's got another yeah. form. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's what... Oh, God. Imagine a triple, either tempered version of all three at the same time. All right, there. I'm just moving that... Uh, at the Dargan. Booster sleeve over here. I'm gonna scoot over. Come on over. Got one new one here that we have not seen yet. It's a Raging Red Cap. Double strike. Double strike, one, two. That's really good. Plus, that's the kind of creature you want to buff. He's a knight. It counts. Yep. The Lonesome Unicorn. Man, the art on these is just crazy. A Witching Well. Another Reaper of Night. These things are awesome. Return to Nature. Tall as a Beanstalk. A Vantress Paladin. Another uh, Idyllic Grange. Locked Wind Gargoyle. This is... This is actually really interesting. So it's only one for a zero three, but if you pay four, he'll get plus two plus zero and gain flying until the end of the turn. Pretty nice. So if you want it to be like a gargoyle and sit there, if you want it to attack, uh, Reeve Soul. I was getting hit with a lot of these. Destroy target creature with power three or less. Yep. It's just so cheap for that, you know. Deafening Silence. Each player can't cast more than one non-creature spell each turn. It's only one, and that I stays. Know. It stays. It's mean. Mm. The Enchanted Carriage. I actually played this in the pre-release, and I think it was a bad call in the end. It was fun. But it was funny. I've never played any vehicle cards, so I thought it was weird. Oh, one of the Sirs. There's, the bar. there's one Sir of each color, and then I think there is a multicolor Sir. Mm -hmm. So Sir Farron, the Hedgehammer, uh, is a legendary with only two forests for a 2-2. Two -two. Uh, whenever he attacks, another targeting attacking creature gets plus X plus X to turn X is Sir Farron's power. Instead so of to power him, him up. up, 
Yep. Buff everyone else. The Giant Killer. That card is broken, and I love it in yep. my deck. One. Okay, so instant is three for the adventure. Destroy target creature with power four or greater. And you bring them out for a one, two, and tap target creature. So if you didn't kill them, you can just subdue them. Yep. We've got a nice planes here and a fairy token. Fairies! Like a sir. <laughs> See, I'm going to open an Alex pack. There's a lot of me's in there. There's barely any dragons. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that, but hey, I see a few uh, Rowans coming up, so um, I kind of ruined this that. for me, but that's all right. I already got this one, so I'm yeah, I have an extra anymore. of that one just in case you needed it anyway. No, nope. I do like saving booster sleeves. It's a weird thing I do. Let's see. All righty, um, mantle, mantle tide. Oh, yeah, that's it's a cool plus one. one plus two. Whenever I draw a second card to turn, I get I can change it. I, nice. I saw a lot of stuff like when you draw your second card each turn, and I was trying to get my deck to do that, but I couldn't get enough things to make me draw that card. Rage, There's only a few. Raging Red Cap. Lonesome Unicorn. That's a really good one, too. I love that. Didn't Don't say, say please. please. I love that card. Insatiable Appetite. appetite. Um, so oh, my God. Food, if you do, target creature plus five plus five to so on a turn. Otherwise, they only get three, three. So it's a giant growth that costs one more, unless you sacrifice a food with it, and then it's a big boom. No. Giant skewer. Oh, my, one of my Owl favorites. Owl muscle. You got a foil of that, too. <laughs> Just drive. suplexing a bear. This is a card of a dude suplexing a bear. <laughs> this is the best game ever. Blow your, your house, house down. down. Up, up to three target creatures can't block this turn. Destroy any of them that are walls. <laughs> That's awesome. That is so good. Bacon into a pie. pie. Now that, that messed me up several yes. times. It's like anyone who got that was just playing tons of bacon to pies, and I never found any. Signpost Scarecrow, Vigilance. Two, add one mana of any color, so that could help you in a pinch. You don't get a net gain, but... Well, I saw um, one combo. Someone had, like, a mythic tree that if you tap it, it gives two green mana. Oh. So someone was like, hey, you know what? I'm going to tap the tree add two green mana because I don't want it, and turn it into, and he wanted, like, a black mana or something, and then that kind of saved him. The Fireborn Knight. Double strike. Gets plus one, plus one to under turn. That's not bad. Make it a three, four. Double strike. <laughs> Squads. Oh, yes, I remember the first time I suplexed a bear. That's everyone's favorite memory of when they're a child. Here's ah, another, another Sir. Sir Alan, the Lion's Claw. First strike. Whenever he attacks, other creatures you control get plus one, plus one. He's a four, four first strike for five. And he gives everything else plus one, plus one. That is busted. Turn into a pumpkin. Yep. <laughs> Turn target non life permanent to its owner's hand. Draw a card. If at least three blue is spent to cast this, create a food token to I mean, get the pumpkin. It's a good unsummon. Whoa. The Ember Queen. Oh my gosh. Ember Okay, that's a mythic, and that is a oh, crazy. That is a yeah, that's a crazy good card. Flash, the spell costs one less to cast for each attacking creature you control, so you don't want to do it into your attack phase. Well, here, if you got four creatures attacking, that comes out for two red. Okay? Yep. <laughs> now, and there's a battlefield attached to a creature you control. A crew creature gets plus one, plus one, has double strike and trample. Surprise. Yeah. Oh, no. Surprise. <laughs> that is a cruel card. I like that. Yeah, it's good. You set that aside. That is darn good. We'll put that in the and sleeves. In a forest. What kind of token? Oh, no uh, token. They, just an they, advert. Whatever. You found the mythic in that one. So. True. Right. Anyway, very cool. We got our first mythic. We did. Your yeah, turn. Yeah, we want to show that one off. Um, so, in terms of the uh, the upcoming tournament, I got a feeling Matt's going to play red just because of that. Well, I'd um, like to play red-blue, which I didn't get to do at the thing because I didn't have enough. I had to play white-green. Power of Rowan. Maybe we'll find another red mythic of a certain planeswalker. Please. Or the Loki planeswalker. Um, oh, yes. Uh, Oko. Yeah, he's actually not going very expensive right now. He's not. He's only like 30 so. It's like the most expensive card in the set right now is some kind of mermaid, I think. Really? I think. it's. Uh... But there's not like any mythic mermaid. I'll know, I'll know the card when I see it. Uh, we'll take a look. If there's anything, like, really big, like, honestly, um... There's nothing big. We're talking a max of $18. Uh, really? But Oko's, like, 30-some, I thought. Yeah, until... He was until the site came out. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You can get him in decks. Well, I know a lot of the showcase versions and stuff like that. Those yeah. are expensive, though. Because people, of course, love the pretty, pretty versions. Which we can, by the way, pull showcase cards out of these. Anyway, um, Ogre Errant... Did we read this one? Remember, Ogre Errant attacks another targeting knight gains menace. So he actually good to pair with knights, but I would rather just be 100% knights to make sure that it works better. Fortifying provisions. 
the Tome Raider. A lost Legion. Whenever he enters the battlefield, scry two. Or three two, for three. two, three. Not bad. That's not bad. Wolf's no, that's quarry. the one that's sad. Oh, no. It's the three pigs. Look at the three piggies. There's this The, the, the scary wolf. wolf in the background. And then read the text. All right, so... Four and two forests. Create three one one green boar creature tokens with when this creature dies, create a food token. You eat them when they die. Read the text at the bottom. Okay, the, the flavor text says The monster was gaining on them. Twice it had found them. There was only one place left to hide. Oh. I don't like that card. A searing barrage. A five damage target creature. Deals three to that creature's controller if adamant is paid. Eye Collector. Um, whenever he deals combat damage to a player, each player puts the top card of their library into their graveyard, but he's a flying 1-1, one, one, so it's a little tough to do. Charmed Sleep. I did play this one. Lockwain Gargoyle. Trapped in the Tower. <laughs> you gotta love this one. Plus, the, look at the art on these. This the is, art in this set is beautiful. This is gorgeous. Like, I, I would get closer, but it's really hard to get even closer to this camera. Um, Enchant Creature without flying, because otherwise they would fly right out of the tower, and you basically trap them. Wonder that Man! That thing saved my butt so many times in, in the draft night. Whenever you cast a creature spell that has adventure, put a plus one, plus one counter on the Wonder Mare. He's already a 3-3. Three, three. For three. Yeah, that's a great deal. The Clockwork Servant. Uh, whenever you enter the battlefield, obviously three mana of the same color was spent to cast a draw card. I was wondering how a colorless adamant would work. But uh, yeah, that's interesting. Uh, Okame Adversary. Um, this is, uh, three forest. This spell costs two less to cast if an opponent controls a green permanent. That's weird. Death touch 2-3. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, draw a card, which it has death touch, so they want to let it through. Right. That's very good. I like that. The midnight, midnight clock. clock. Very good. This is just a time bomb. Um, I kind of used it as a mana source, which was not really a bright idea in my deck, but... Yeah, I think it did more damage to me than anything. In a pre-release, it's not a good idea, but in like a 60-card deck, this is much better. Oh, yeah. We have a mountain Tony. and uh, another on an adventure. Those are good to have. Yeah, so um, while you're opening yours, I'm going to briefly uh, look up um, price guides. Just look up like the top most expensive cards. Well, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I, I just want to see uh, what kind of stuff we end up pulling out of here because... Um, it, it's still cool enough to see some of them, just as we get them, so it's a little exciting. We can tell you now. Let's see. Um, I'm going to check Embercleave, that mythic that Matt got, as he flips through these. Lonesome Unicorn. Didn't say please. Didn't say please. Flying Dwarf. Yeah, for the record, Embercleave is about a 3 and a half to $4 card. Just as a mythic, that's not bad. Crying Soldier. Whenever you cast a spell that has adventure, he gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Cool. So he's not he's kind of like the horse, but he doesn't get to keep his plus one. Yes, plus mm, one. and the bacon card. No. Malevolent Noble. Mystic Sanctuary. Mystic Sanctuary. Almas. It's always good suplexing a bear. Far off of the peak. Off of the peak. <laughs> Red Cap Red Raiders. Cap Raiders. Skullknocker Skull Ogre. Ogre. I don't think we saw that one. Whenever Skullknocker Ogre deals damage to an opponent, that player discards a card at random. If the player does, they draw a card. Huh. Okay, well... So you just make them... You kind of screw up their plan, whatever it was. So, that's okay. Another oh, Sir. Oh, hey, another one of the Sirs. Wait, hold on. So, color-wise, we have almost all of them. We need red. We need, uh... Red and... Black. black. Right. Uh, is so equal, equal to the number, number of cards, cards, cards in your hand, game. where if you're playing blue, you just want Wait, that. you play that, uh, book that gives you yep. as many cards as possible. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card, so it's automatically a 1-4, and spells your opponents cast that target, sir, cost two more to cast. Ooh. That's mean. That is quite good. And, uh... This freaking deer. This deer destroyed me. Uh, oh, the Arcana of Absolution. So can you move that down? We can't really see it. Yes. So basically what this is, is it's flying, it has protection from white, but more importantly, creatures can't attack you or a planeswalker you control unless they pay one for each one of those creatures. That's, and that stacks, by the way. That does stack. Yeah, you played someone who had two of those? Yes. That's just busted. Whoa, the what's steadfast this? steadfast queen. Vigilance. You Whenever you to the camera? Yep. Yeah, thanks. Whenever you cast a white creature you control attacks, you gain one life. Whoa. Oh, I might have to play white. That's really nice. 
And what's back there? Beautiful, Whoa. beautiful oh, mythic sanctuary. That's so nice. Look at that. Love it. I love it when the foils are like lands and things you can always play. You know, yep. those are my favorite kinds. We got uh, a forest and a, a human, human card. Life link and haste. Whoa! What card Two makes that? Link. I don't. Um, I think Rowan might. Um, Rowan does. Yeah, it's a white red. That's weird. I don't know. She might. I'm not positive. But anyway, I'm gonna grab um. Either way, that's good. A me. Woo! Woo. Get a major spin. This is gonna be a super lucky one. You all right? Yeah, I just kicked the box. I'm like, oh no! All right, I'm gonna peel this. I appreciate that it's easier to open these. Oh yeah, so much better. Because they used to be um, very uh, tough Difficult. to open. Well, uh, they were too tight. They were I too love, vacuum sealed. Love this card on top. Uh, if I was... Ice Queen. It's so cheap, and I love it. Yeah, the Queen of Ice. This is basically paying twice to just Go tap again. their stuff. And they don't untap for the next untap step. It's just irritating. And then when you do this, it sits out there like a threat. Yep. And you can just pay it whenever you want. Another Crystal Slipper. Uh, Silver Flame Squire. Fell the Pheasant. A Lash of Thorns. That hurts. I haven't run into this one, actually. Gets plus two, plus one, gains Death Touch. In the oh. That's for one. It's an yeah, instant. Yeah, for one. The Weapon Rack. That came in handy. Yes, I remember this one. So Weapon Rack enters the battlefield with three plus one plus one counters on it. And you can tap it to slowly start equipping your creatures one at a time. The Beloved Love Princess! Princess. That I, saved me. I never had one of these. Yeah, it would have helped in my white. Lifelink 1-1 one, one, Beloved Princess can't be blocked by creatures with power three or greater. That is an awesome card. I also love how the princess in this set, the Beloved Princess, is a common and the Charming Prince is a rare. Yep. <laughs> it's just because in this world, it just makes sense. Another Vantress Paladin. A Henge Walker. He's all right. Um, He's not that great. Yeah, uh, that's three. He gets plus one. Yeah, that's... You might as well just actually... Like, there are three cost cards that just make you a 3-3. Three, three. Yep. The fact that he's Artifact, though, he can go in anything. Reeve Soul. Destroy creature with power three or less. Okay. A Hypnotic Sprite. This has a Fairy Adventure That thing on. is good. Man, I didn't get any of the good ones, and I was playing the wrong colors, I guess. I honestly don't think they put all the cards in the preview packs. Ye well, I don't know. Well, yeah, I, have no I didn't idea. see anyone pull Planeswalker. That's true. Yeah, I never saw a Planeswalker. Um, Veracity of the Wilds. Attacking non-human creatures you can show get plus one, plus zero, and have Trample. That's good. Ooh, quite good. Rampart Smasher. Can't be blocked by knights or walls. It's a 5-5. Five, five. Ooh, yes, I love this one. The Clackbridge oh, yes. Troll. We got a goat token. He's a Trample Haste 8-8. Eight, eight. But he enters the battlefield. Target opponent creates three zero one one white goat creature tokens. At the beginning of combat on your turn, any opponent may sacrifice a creature. If they do, tap the Clackbridge Troll. You basically feed him. You gain three life and you draw a card. <laughs> That's just great. We have another island and a food token. Awesome. Did you get this one? Uh, yes. The most of the food tokens I got at the draft were this gross pumpkin looking ones where it's like oh i don't want that mm. it's like i, I, I want the, the good looking I, food the one i found was of the boar head with the apple that one makes me sad yeah <laughs> any one of the ones with the pigs makes me the sad the poor pigs i cannot open these today i don't know what is with me what do our comments say do we have comments do people uh, in here well stream labs was uh jumping in there's like an automated thing we're messing around with right now to try and get um a Streamlabs bot to auto moderate the chat, and um, it doesn't work very well. <laughs> it, it we think it determined that the word sad is a curse word, and it yeah it was attacking people for using the word sad. Yeah, you may just want to get human we're trying moderators. to fix it. Well, we made it all manual now, but still, this is a little weird. So, wow, it even timed out Gabriel. I don't know why it did that, but sorry about that, Gabriel. If that was not on. That yeah, was not on purpose. It's still busted. I'm sorry. We're not. We didn't do that on purpose. You have this in your deck. Uh, yeah, I did play that turtle. Um, whenever he attacks, target attacking non-human creature cannot be blocked. The downside was my other ones are typically the uh, the uh, wishful merfolk who turns into a human, so it didn't work. That was a downside. Let's I know see. this is a good one. Weaselback Redcap. He's a one-one for one, and you can power him up if he gets through. It's because he rides wheel. Fairy, Fairy Godmother. Godmother, another good one. Memory, Memory theft. thefts. Steel Star. Gaze Griffin. He's a good. 
Longwood what? Tracker. That's another pretty good one for the non-humans. That so thing is great. It's usually like a non-humans versus knights. Yep. Uh, oh, the jousting dummy. Jousting dummy. So you know, nobody. I haven't seen a single ginger brute, and I found three in the pre-release. That was my deck. It, like I had your no deck was nothing but. I had brutes. nothing to speak of other than my three ginger brutes. I do have the alternate art of this one. Oh, sweet! Yeah, look at that one. Um, so it's destroy target artifact, and it's a two-one. You mostly want that one destroy target artifact. Mystical yes. dispute. Uh, mystical di dispute. Yep, I remember playing that one as well. That's me. Trail of Crumbs. The Trail of Crumbs. That's another depressing one. Create a food token. Whenever you sacrifice a food, you may pay one. If you do, look at the top two cards of your library, put it in your hand, put the rest in the bottom in any order. Not bad. Whoa. Um, Lockmere nice. Serpent. Can you center that a bit? Uh, Lockmere Serpent. Yeah, read that. Uh, it's Flash, which is just mean. Uh, if you pay Flash 7-7? Seven, seven? If you pay an island... Sacrifice an island, it can't be blocked. If you sacrifice a swamp, you gain one life and draw a card. Sac um, pay two, exile five target cards from an opponent's graveyard. Return Lockmere Serpent from your graveyard to oh your hand. Gosh. Activate this ability anytime you could cast a sorcery. That thing's busted. That's mean. That thing's mean. Well, here, just as a flash 7-7 seven, seven for that. Yeah, that's, that's very amazing. mean. Oh, there's the red oh, sire. Is that a foil? Yeah, it's the Holy red sire. Cow. I actually really wanted this card. Yeah, the foil. Because uh, yeah, it's a good it's one. fun. Whenever, yeah, we'll it, that. whenever it the bold or an instant, whenever uh, what is Sar it, Sir Kara? Sir Kara the bold or an instant or sorcery spell you control deals damage to a player. Exile top card of your library. You may play that card this turn, oh. or I can just say forget it, tap her, and yeah. deal one damage to any target. And you could do that before combat. Yep, and that foil is so that is cool. That is a nice foil. Yeah, you definitely need to play red. That is so cool. It's beautiful for us. So here, um, it's just the black sir. We haven't even gotten a duplicate of the sirs yet. Which is good. Yeah, that is good. So we've got like one of each. Because if you did um a knights, like red, maybe a splash for some other colors of knights, that's pretty nice. Yeah, I'm gonna steal card sleeve. Yeah, go for that. Any of the nice. Yeah, you know, I don't think I have pulled a foil yet. I'm gonna put this in the. So uh, we're gonna make sure that this is a. Trip. Oh, you're not going for one. a quadruple spin. That was all four spins. My God. So, uh, Gabriel wants to know, yes. can I suplex Streamlabs? <laughs> I mean, technically. Well, if can you suplex a bear, then you can suplex Streamlabs. Is suplex a banned word? It, well, it looks like it wasn't. No, here, I, I honestly... Okay, just full disclosure, um, ever since that stream where it did that to somebody for saying sad... Um, I went through and we manually went through, you know, all the curse words and things you can conceive of, which is no I fun. I, but... I, I get that, but why sad? Uh, well, here, they reposted it somewhere else, and the only word we could think of was sad, because it was an ordinary sentence. They're like, this makes me feel sad. That was all it was. Like, nothing else could have been like that. All right, here we Didn't go. Didn't say please. Didn't say please. Yeah, I'm suing. We got a Weaselback Red Cap. A prized griffin, the first one we've seen so far. I think Kim wanted that card. A Mantle of Tides. I think it was the other... Was it another griffin? I don't remember. Yeah, she might have wanted There's this There's two one. griffins. I, I forget. Uh, I know she wanted this one. Anything Merfolk related, Kim wants to collect. Mantle of Tides. The Festive Funeral. Have you seen I this one? I love this card. Yeah, target creature gets minus X, minus X, till the end of the turn where X is the number of cards in your graveyard. That's just mean. Uh, another one of the uh, Toon Veil Tree Folks. Prophet of the Peak. Wicked Guardian. Still not a single Ginger Brute. Like, what's up with that? Oh, the Gingerbread Cabin. I actually never saw this card. Uh, enters tapped unless you control three more forests. When it enters untapped, create a food token. That's awesome. It's a Gingerbread House. So you can eat the Gingerbread House. Uh, Steel Gaze, Griffin. The Wintermore Commander. So this is a white-black human knight. Death Touch 2 Star. Um, his toughness is equal to the number of knights you control, so it's all it's at least one. Yep. Uh, whenever he attacks another target knight you control, gains indestructible until the end of the turn. Th one of us has to make a knight deck. I want to see the knights work. Oh, the black one! There he is! Sir Conrad the Grim. Um, whenever another creature dies, or a creature card is put into a graveyard from anywhere other than the battlefield, or a creature card leaves your graveyard, Sir Conrad the Grim deals one damage to each opponent. One in a black. Each player puts the top card of their library into their graveyard. Mean. That's mean. And he's a 5-4 on top of all that. Sage of the Falls. I did play this one too. He's a 2-5. Whenever he 
uh, or another non-human enters the battlefield under your control, you may draw a card if you do discard a card. So it was an idea to make you draw that second card for that turn. Fires of Invention. Uh, you can cast spells only during your turn, and you can cast no more than two spells each turn. You may cast spells with converted mana costs less than or equal to the number of lands you control without paying their mana costs. So you can either put that on yourself. That's so... Yeah. That's, or you can put it on your opponent. I think you can enchant them. I don't know if you can enchant them with this. It doesn't say you can't. Um, I, and typically yeah, enchantments you can put yeah, on whatever you want. Sometimes, yeah, you can. Yeah, I'd have to look that one up. I'm not positive. Oh, that is so nice. Look at that. Very cool. And no cool tokens. Nope. So, also, another thing that's pretty lucky so far. Yeah. Um, I don't even think we got a single rare duplicate. Nope, which is great. Yeah, that is great. Because I hate when that happens. It's like, eh. Well, I mean, uh, when you're doing a, a draft, you honestly do want it to happen so that you can build up, you know, a more reliable deck. But, honestly, we just love collecting magic cards and playing the game. So, it's more of like, we would, I don't know about you, I would prefer to get a bunch of different stuff. Oh, yeah. Let's see. All right. Oh, oh this. Oh, scry I one and draw a card. As many of those as I so could. So it's like, oh, okay, I don't want this. Just replace the card. It's a Wolverine. Very nice. Gets plus one, plus one when you draw a second <laughs> card. Is festive funeral an oxymoron? Shining armor. Shining armor. This card is useful. Yes, that is. That's a very, especially for knights. Did you read that? Yes. It, it comes out for free, basically. You flash it onto a knight. Forever young? Forever young. Oh, uh, the card Geppetto of card. So, target creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. That's not bad for two. Could you uh, raise a little... There you go. Okay. There's a the gingerbread. Ginger God, oh, God, I hate this guy. You can't catch him, because you don't have haste. <laughs> So he's a haste to 1-1, one, one, and if you pay 1, Ginger Brute can't be blocked this turn except by creatures with haste. Or you can eat him. Or you can eat him. Can't catch him, he's the Ginger Brute man. Lockwing Paladin. I think that one's got alternate art? I don't remember. Menace. It has adamant. It can enter with plus 1, just, plus 1. That's, that's just, not bad. That's just good. That's another one of the Black Knights. The Witch's Cottage. Witch's Cottage. Uh, when it enters the battlefield untapped, you may tar put target creature card from your graveyard on top of your library, so free... Yep, I get what whatever I want. Whatever died, it comes back. Um, Maraleaf Rider. Sacrifice food, target creature blocks Maraleaf Rider this turn. And it's a 3 1, so you choose how to, who to kill. Silver Flame Ritual, I did use this one. Alright, put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. Adamant, if at least three white was spent to cast it, um, creatures you control gain vigilance until the end of the turn. That's pretty nice. Oh, there we go. Enchanted Carriage. Um, overwhelm, overwhelm the apprentice. apprentice. Go ahead and read that. Enters the battlefield. Each opponent puts the top two cards of the library into the graveyard, but I get the scry too. <laughs> Gabriel says, "Did a certain someone throw a sonic bomb at that Wolverine?" Yes. You Fished see his him off. trails. Yeah. Vulnerable knights. One for a two-one. Oh, when it dies, put a plus one plus one counter on target knight you control. Oh, oh, that's oh. sad. Oh. oh my God! Questing beast. Is this good? Dude, that, that is like one of those busted cards. <laughs> Vigilance, Death Touch, Haste. Oh, yes, God. Vigilance, Death Touch, Haste. Look at the mana cost. Can't be blocked by creatures of power two. This a bit? Power two or less. Okay, so you're going to win. Yes, and then combat damage that be dealt by creatures you control can't be prevented. Whenever he deals combat damage to an opponent, it deals that much damage to target Planeswalker they control. Oh, that's horrible. That thing... Is mean. Is freaking mean honestly it's one of my favorite cards in the entire set i'm not sure i'm kind of curious what he goes for beautiful mountain uh and oh no joking because if he doesn't go for a lot he should because man i love that card oh man yeah that's a um like cheapest i'm seeing somewhere around like 17 bucks nice that's a good card <laughs> put him in a sleeve that's a to keep darn him safe. good card i'm gonna grab uh from the dragon here because uh um, got, that's the one getting the mythics. You got a Dargan? I feel a little lonely over here. Come on. Quintessential you spin. You can't Mega go for spin. that many spins? Yeah, all these spins aren't gonna... Okay, fine, I'm gonna, I'm gonna unspin one. I'm oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. no you're gonna break the quantum... Way. No, you can't. <laughs> We're gonna break the quantum what? The quantum no, you can't. The quantum no, you can't. It's too quantum. Um, was it Matt? Because he throws sonic bombs at everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, how else will I know what happens unless I do it? Every single time, though. Yeah, I know. I well, want to know what generations happens. Thinks. You're like, this game's too easy. Let's just play against this Nargakuga when he's constantly in rage mode. I mean, was it not more fun? 
Did you not have more fun doing that? I was pretty mad at you. Did you not have fun? I'm still mad You're at you. You're not answering my question, though. I'm really mad at <laughs> Did you. Did you have fun? <laughs> yes. I'm You're still, ignoring the question. I'm definitely mad at you. Run away together. Run away together. <laughs> Merchant of the Veil is the new one. You may discard a card if you do draw a card. Only for one. Haggle. <laughs> uh, discard a card, draw a card. Oh, sweet. So you can basically just keep doing that. That's pretty handy. They want red and blue to go together. Yep. Oh, right. This triggers all of those draw your second cards. Yep. And you can keep doing it. Youthful Knight. 2-1 uh, first strike. It's also a new one. Another Ice Queen. Festive Funeral! Yay! Oh, sorry. I was off a little bit there. That's all right. Curious Pear. It's uh, Hansel and Gretel. It's gingerbread, like Mother makes. What's there to be afraid of? Prophet of the Peak. I love that card. The Wicked Guardian. A gingerbread cabin. A lucky clover. That's that so is, broken. Like, okay, if Throne of Eldraine stuff aside, and you know, for, you know, oh, just for the draft. Oh, oh, this is oh, just a great broken. card. This is just good to put in, like, put any in a of burn deck. Another one of the greens. I know we can actually start with Ooh. those duplicates. Another is Sir Farron. Actually, I think I pulled Sir Farron. Yes, you did. You pulled out the bear. Um, whenever Hedron attacks. Yep, that's another good one. Burning Yard Trainer. Trample Haste 3-3. Three, three. Whenever he enters battlefield, another target knight you control gets plus 2, plus 2, and gains Trample and Haste until the end of the turn. Nice. If you were rich enough, that second Haste might matter, but... Yeah. That or you could use that to block uh, Gingerbread. Yep, so what's this one here? We have uh, Castle Ardenvale. Uh, it's a rare white land. Enters battlefield tapped unless you control a planes. Uh, add one plane. So it's a free planes if you that one already um and then you can basically pay four to farm white human creature tokens late enough in the game oh Whoa. that's a foil of that lockmere serpent it's so pretty dude look at how pretty it is it's glorious it's a glorious serpent. oh it's amazing this thing is so powerful there you go. You can yeah you we, can should, we should we should we should sleep that thing all right and uh Another a mountain one. and, and food. a food token all right so I'm, uh, you know, if you're curious, I kind of want to check what the, um, foil Lockmere Serpent is. Go ahead. Even though it's just a, uh, rare, you know, it's, I think that's one that's worth checking. If it goes in the sleeve, it's worth looking at. <laughs> if it gets protection sleeve, it is worth it. Now, let me see. Uh, Eerie, yep. Yep, there we go. Let me see if I can find one that says foil, because it might be a little harder. Aw, oh, he's, uh, unfortunately not a very expensive card, but, uh... Oh, so tiny. Yeah, he's only about a buck. That's a bummer. Enchant creature. It's still, it looks freaking cool. Oh, it's beautiful. Are you can right, So tiny. Rimrock Knight. Flying doors. Yeah, Outflank. Yeah. Deals damage to target attacking or blocking creature equal to the number of creatures you control. The art on that is so cool. Do you, what, look at that beast in the background. What is that it. faceless thing? I don't know, but I love it. Um, Smitten Swordmaster. Oh, I love the, like, the flavor text on some of these. My quest... Why to marry Arya or die trying? <laughs> so he's got lifelink, but if you use a sorcery, you gain X life and each opponent loses X life, or X is the number of knights you control. Whoa, yeah, knights are the way to go right now. Um, this guy again, Caravir. Yep. Uh, the Paladin. Paladin. Dwarven Mine. When it enters, create a 1-1 one -one dwarf to creature token. Uh, Twisted Iris is asking if you've seen my Hollow Knight episodes. Me? Yeah. Some of them, yeah. Yeah, there's only about four or five that are out right now, so... Uh, he hasn't seen the live streams, if I, I think, if that's what you mean. Yeah, I haven't gotten to do the live streams. So yeah, the, the, the episodes are just condensed, edited versions of the live streams. No, they're the Brimstone Torch. Brimstone okay. Trebuchet. The Golden, Golden Egg. Egg. This I thing saved me. Those. Yeah, I pulled one of those, and I was not sure if I wanted to play it or not, but I think I should have. That's it one was, of the cards It I was worth it. Yeah, it's one I regretted not doing. Another cover of Surge. Can you get closer? Yep. The Sorcerer's, Sorcerer's Broom. Broom. Whenever you sacrifice another permit, you may pay three. If you do create a token, that's a that's a copy of Sorcerer's Broom. Oh my gosh. Wait, hold on. That's a infinite combo worthy right there. Oh yeah, it is. This will be banned. You can... Yeah, you can... Well, here, since it costs three, I don't know, but... It'll be banned. There's gotta be a way to do something with that. Aspiring Veteran? Yeah, I love this one. Other Knights just get plus one, plus one. Just because. Just because. Um, um, Iron Craig, Craig Feats. Add seven fire. 
Wait, what? You can cast only one more spell this turn, so it's four. What's the big thing coming? Yeah. You get seven, so you get a net, net gain of yeah, three. Yeah, net gain of three, but still, what? Are you gonna... Oh, shoot, I was going to say the Wombo combo might work with that card, but it won't because it says the only one more spell this turn. Actually, that might not get banned because of the one more spell this turn. Yeah, So that it's going to stop infinite combos because yeah, people do that a lot. What's that? The one one human. That's a really neat full art um, token. Well, that's for the um, Love Struck Beast. Oh, it is. You is make that Bell? Bell? Yeah, you make Bell. Can I see that? The little clear? Yeah. The same yeah, yellow dress, really you make awesome. Bell. Yeah, it is. You make Bell. I'm going to grab from the stack here. Go ahead, We're going to spin just oh. one. This is going to be one mega spin, okay? This you is can't be do the mega spin. It's one. Too We've spoken of the mega spin. We've theorized about the mega spin. We did I it. think it's finally time. We did a Pokedex theory on the mega spin. To do the mega spin! All right. Mega spin has been uh, completed. Wasn't that exciting? Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Yeah. Uh, Iris says, uh, ooh, and you're, uh, you're in for a treat. It gets really bad in the later episodes. Well, yeah, it's Hollow Knight. Well, by... Oh, she means bad in many ways. I couldn't open this one perfectly, so I'm just That's gonna... all right. I think we got all of them at this point. Uh, yeah, I think there's only three, which is surprising. I, I thought there was four. Nope, just three. Anyway, coming in here. Maybe I'm thinking of the fourth one is uh, Garuk. Yeah. Well, he's on the... The, the collectors, collector. yeah. Mantle of Tides... A Raging Red Cap, A Curious Pair, Lost Legion, The Barrow Witches. These things are mean. Yes, yeah, so I'm surprised. We haven't seen like all the commons yet. We're still finding these. Enters the battlefield. Return target. Knight, you, uh, knight card from your graveyard to your hand. Three witches. The Corridor Monitor. When it enters the... Whoa, what the... Oh, misprint. Hmm? There's totally a misprint on this card. Look at the word the. Oh, yep. That's an ink block. Wow. That's uh. That's cool. That is kind of I like I like stuff like that. That's actually kind of neat. I actually there's like you can physically feel it too. I don't want to like actually scratch it because it's actually on there. That's weird. All right, so a misprinted corridor monitor. Um, battlefield untap. It's also on the A too. Yeah, that's a. They should have caught that. Um, tap target artifact or creature you control. Very nice. Um, Garenbrig Paladin. Man, that art is awesome. Is that Garuk? I can't quite tell. Mm, no, no that's a giant knight. We still don't have the card of Garuk getting cured from oh, this curse. Man. Yes, and also we need to find Garuk himself. He makes rules. Dwarven Mine enters battlefield tapped unless you control three or more other mountains. So this is the mountain one. Yep. When it enters battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one red dwarf creature token. Cool, just with your land. That's awesome. Another rep and rack. Uh, Sir Kara the Bold. Here is a non-foil version, so you got both of them. Yep. And Fireborn Knight. I don't think we found this one. There's one of each of these double colors. No, but he's a double strike. Double strike. Me. Two, three. Gets plus one, plus one to the end of the turn. Yikes. Grumgully. It's Grumgully. It's generous. I forgot about this. Each other non-human creature you control enters the battlefield with an additional plus one, plus one counter on it. <laughs> the thing is, that's how I see it. Talking. It's Grumgully. It's Grumgully. A generous. Uh, and Wish Claw Talisman, the Monkey Paw, uh, enters the battlefield with three Wish Counters on it. Pay one and tap it to remove a Wish Counter from the Wish Claw Talisman. Search your library for a card, put it into your hand, and then shuffle your library. An opponent gains control of Wish Claw Talisman. Activate his ability only once during your turn. So you have to so keep trading. It. Yep. And Foil Profit Profits of the, of the Peak. I do like that. <laughs> you know, th this is great. This is great. And we have an island as well as a food. Yep, that's the food that I found. The piggy head. I, I like this one. <laughs> no. Uh, shoot. Was this a stack I was putting over here? Sure. Mm, I just my wanna... stuff's all down here, so that's okay. got to be yours. I just want to make sure I didn't mix them on accident. No, that's got to be yours. Alrighty. Oof. Let's um. See. So I'm not sure how many total we've even been through so far. We're about maybe halfway. There's a lot. Can't wait for Alex to fight Acidic Glavinus. I think he'll be coming really soon. Moo cow. Bartered cow. So, so tiny. Barge in. Barge in. Reaper. Reaper of Man, Night. I love that card. I in fact, I, I might even want to try and get a playset for my uh, discard deck. Return to Nature. Always good. The Skuldron Cauldron, which Coldren. is just the go ahead and try it. Wait, so I didn't see this one. So one and three to tap it. Um, it deals three... Whoa. Sorry. I was yeah, my it went really crazy. Uh, sacrifice it, it deals three damage to target creature. Oh, so they just it's, know it's coming. Yeah, it's just there, and you're like, go ahead. 
Another of these trebuchets. Uh, yep, another trebuchet. Crushing drawbridge. This thing was evil when I fought it because of that. I'm going to try and get us a little bit more light. Okay, good. So, creatures you control get haste till end of turn. That's amazing. That's and plus amazing. Plus, it's also a 0 4 defender if you want it. Tall as beanstalk. Tall as a beanstalk. The Barrow Can you Witches. Can center a bit a little? Right there? Yeah, yeah kind of. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Barrow Witches. Spectre Shriek. Spectre Shriek. Target opponent reveals their hand. You may choose one non land card from it. If you do, exile it. If a non black card is exiled this way, exile a card from your hand. Hmm. So, unless you know they're playing yeah, black. Yeah, that's tough. Oh, oh, it's the Lock Dragon. Lock Dragon. Whenever oh, Lock he's Dragon only has an a uncommon. Battle Man, how come we haven't found more of these? I don't know. Or attacks, you may discard a card if you do draw a card, which is your second draw of card. Yep, of that also triggers it. The Mad, Mad Ratter. Ratter. Whenever you draw your second card of the turn, create two 1 1 black yeah, crack red, tokens. Yeah, red blue is a pretty good combo in this. Oh, oh Bay of Wishes. Bay of, is that a rare? I think so, yeah. That's a um, showcase rare. Man, that is nice. So, you Bay may, of Wishes. What's the sorcery say? You may choose a non-creature card you own from outside the game, reveal it, put it in your hand. So, your side It's deck. your sideboard. That doesn't mean everything you own. But just put something really good in your sideboard. Exactly. You just get ready for it. Flying, or I can... It has flying. It's a 1-4. I can pay one blue, discard two cards, return Bay of Wishes to its owner's hand. So I can just keep pulling things out yeah. of my side deck. I'm kind of curious about that one. Now I got a. No, is that the end of it? I got a, No, I had to readjust. Okay, and then I there's a swamp a... and a knight. You okay. said get a. I want to see the showcase version of that. See what that goes for, because that is uh, pretty nice. That's not. It's about three. That's not bad. That's pretty sweet. Well, now I have a purpose. It's besides, a I really love the showcase cards. They look so nice. Alrighty. I can't believe he's only uncommon, especially seeing how he's on the card thing. Well, um, isn't the uh, card that you guys said is me also? Uh, was he uncommon or he's common? A, he's a uh, common. Of course I am. It's all right. That we gotta find it. Rowan. We'll get the trifecta if we can find Rowan. Though, that art is actually different from her art that's on the Planeswalker card. Oh, yeah, it is. So, it's it's not going to look like that. But, oh, well. Let's pull this out. I'm going to scoot in here. This is a new common we have not seen. Maybe we've got a lucky little booster here. Wait, 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 like, joink. I hope that light wasn't too much. Nah, it's all right. Okay. Um, Arden Veil Paladin. Adamant. If at least three white mana was spelt, uh, spent to cast this, it enters the battlefield with a plus one, plus one, and it's already pretty tanky for that. That's awesome. Miss Turtle. River Turtle. The Thrill of Possibility. Uh, as an additional cost, discard a card, draw two. Counts as a second draw. Yep, that's nice. Another Silver Flame Squire. Forever Young. Rose Thorn Acolyte. Tempting Witch. I love this one. Did you see this one? That one's cool. Yeah, uh, you create a food token, but you can force your opponent to eat a poisoned apple. Oh, the no. wolf's quarry. No. Oh, it's so sad. Merfolk Secret Keeper. The Fierce Witch Stalker. Oh, God. Look at that. He looks fluffy. <laughs> you want to pet that? A Trample 4-4. Four, four. When he enters the battlefield, create a food token. This is awesome. That's very good. This is a common? Yep. Surprised we didn't four see a lot for of green, a 4-4 four, four tramp? I never saw this card. Neither did I. That's what I'm saying. That is so good. Whoa. There you go. Hey, check that out. This is a uh, Okame Ranger. Um, I actually put this in my token deck just because of its ability here. Create two 1-1 one, one white human creature tokens. And then once you cast it, you can actually use its tap ability. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one end a turn. But you have a bunch of 1-1s one, now. And you can buff them. That's very nice. In fact, I kind of want to leave that guy out. Once and forever. Once, and Once future. in future. That card's good. Return target uh, card from your graveyard to your hand. Put up to one other target card from your graveyard on top of your library. Exile once in future. If at least three green was spent to cast this instead, re return those cards to your hand and exile once in future. All that glitters. This is another good one. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one for each artifact and or enchantment you control. That's awesome. So it's at least one. It's at least one. Yeah. This is the kind of thing I was trying to play in my deck was just get a bunch of enchantments and stuff. 
uh, acclaimed contender. It's a human knight. When acclaimed contender enters the battlefield, if you control another knight, look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal a knight, aura, equipment, or legendary artifact card from among them. Put them into your hand, put the rest on the bottom in a random order. And it's a 3-3 three, three for 3. It's not bad. Quite good again. Beautiful plane. A plains and a wolf. When this creature dies, put a loyalty counter on each Garuk you control. This is that's the Garuk wolf. wolf. Yep, that's very nice. I so if we, find, if we find Garuk, I'm just saying, if we find Garuk, we Garuk, got his wolf. Garuk, where are you? We have your popper. Now, I think you have to make um, two of those. I'm not positive. You do, but, I mean, you can always just make a 2-2 wolf token. You know what's, you know when it gets sacrificed, it goes off. If we find any showcases or anything cool, I'm going to put them in these sleeves just for the time being. Yep. This is the, uh, that was that Okami Ranger again, that showcase card. I actually have all, a one normal one and one showcase one. So, I think the showcase came from that collector booster that you grabbed. Let's see. Alright, go for it. We got a fairy, fairy guide, guide mother. Hey, Blasina, Queen of Ice. welcome. Just wanted to say something. I, I am paying attention to the chat. Uh, wait, can you and uh, Matt do a top 10 favorite monsters list with each of your top 10 monsters? That's a little much to do right now on the spot, but... Uh, the Latrion's number one. <laughs> remind us later. Yeah, he loves the Latrion. Silver Flying Squire. My favorite one's probably Treeful. Devil Joe and Savage Joe, all his incarnations. The Reaper of Night. Reaper of Night's a great one. Return, Return to, to Nature. nature. No, Giant Skewer. <laughs> You're getting a bunch of those. Blow your house down. Iron Veil Tactician. We have Wintermore Commander. That's good. Edgewall Innkeeper. Whenever you cast a creature as an adventure, draw a card. That's quite good. I'm going to try Ooh. to get us a little bit of light in here. Hold up. I didn't see what you just got. I've walked away. Order of Midnight. Oh, it's Re the Showcase Order of Midnight. Return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. So that's really nice. Oh, that's very good. And then it's a, uh, Order of Midnight cannot block. Well, if it's a flying 2-2 two, two for 2, who cares? I'd say I'm not blocking. Yeah, right. Once, Once upon, upon a time. time. If this spell is the first spell you've cast this game, you may cast it without paying its mana cost. Look at the top what? five cards <laughs> of your library. You may reveal a creature or land card among them and put it in your hand. Put the rest in the bottom order in any order. What? <laughs> that's nice. You just get it for free. You just get it for free. Forest. And Human Warrior, Trample Haste. I gotta figure out what card makes those. You have ten? Yep, I'm gonna grab another one of these. Um, Blastina, I'm not exactly sure if uh, you're just being rude or didn't realize what you wrote. What? But um, I'm gonna be playing another game sometime soon. I don't have a actual date scheduled, but I will be playing one in the near future we might be doing um more of uh gosh what's that game called um yes. ori in the blind forest i was doing some of mm -hmm. um also uh expanding monster hunter iceborne um i'm not sure we got a bunch of stuff to stream all right we got a prized griffin a wishful merfolk seven dwarves yes it's only the second one like I what's know, the they're deal gonna be hard to find why are we not getting more seven dwarves Outflank, another very cool one. Foreboding Fruit. So, um, target player draws two cards, loses two life. If at least three black was spent to cast this, create a food token. That's just weird. Uh, Gardenbrig Squire. Smitten Swordmaster. Toonvale Treefolk. Merfolk Secret Keeper. The Fierce Witch Stalker. That, that's just freaky. Crazy. Yeah. Hypnotic Sprite. So we're in the uncommons. Deafening Silence. Which is mean. Yep. Joust. This is great. Choose target creature you control and target creature you don't control. The creature you control gets plus two, plus one until end of turn if it's a knight. Then those creatures fight each other. Whoa. And Stormfist Crusader. It's a black, red, human knight menace. At the beginning of your upkeep, each player draws a card and loses one life. Oh. oh that's oh, risky. Oh, that's oh, a timer. That is pretty cool. And we have another island. I haven't seen this one yet. And another food. That's the food I kept getting. The freaky pie. Kept getting that food. I'm like, really? Really? Mm -hmm. I get the creepy pie. I don't creepy want pie. the creepy pie. You're going to get creepy pie. Meanwhile, everyone else has all these food tokens of, like, delicious fruits and apples and pastries. And I get the creepy pie. Creepy pie. 
Yeah, there's the one with the, I don't know if I how I feel about the one with the apple and the bananas that just spiral around. Food. It's just weird looking. That's a weasel. Got a weasel back red cap. The carver again. Festive funeral. Let's see. Eye collector. Charm sleep, which is just fun. The gargoyle. Trapped in the tower, which is also just fun. Fling! Sacrifice creature. Oh, that's mean. Yep, sorry, I had a... It's, something just came up on my phone. It's good. Um, it's golden Golden. Cauldron. Shepherd of the Flock. Oh, hey, that's another uh, showcase. So return Maybe target from a of control to its hand. That's not bad. For a 3-1. Savvy, Savvy Hunter? Wow, that's weird. It was just like two uh, <laughs> hunters carrying animals on their backs. Attacks or blocks create a food token. Whoa. So you just keep... Never hit... Yeah. Yeah, that's great. You can't that's attack great. with anything small. Fairy Vandal. Love that. Can you hold it down a little bit? Can't quite see. Yeah. You're, but yeah. Which is Vengeance. Creatures of the creature type of your choice get minus three, minus three until the end of the turn. Oh, hey, Paladin that's foil. A, that's a nice one, just because of the art looking so nice. Got a beautiful plains. And the food! Spiral bananas. Yup, time. Alrighty. I'm gonna grab another, uh, me-ish looking one. Go ahead, I'm gonna stand up. Oh, my leg! Yeah, it's, uh... We're gonna stretch a little bit here. There we go. It's not easy doing this. It's not it's, easy being it's green. It's so much hard work opening tiny packs of cards. Well, no, it's it's uh, being in a hot, small room with uh, you cramming under a camera with the trying to get the light correct. And I don't even have any good light sources, if you can't tell. It's pretty awful. Merchant of the Veil. Vale. Um, let's see. Youthful Knight. Opt. Also good. Thrill of Possibility. Really good. Festive Funeral. Curious Pair. Lost Legion. Did we get him? Yeah, yep. we did. That's a good one. Wolf's Quarry. No. Uh, the Fierce Witch Stalker. Gingerbread Cabin. Epic Downfall. Uh, exile target creature with converted mana cost three or greater. Oh, that's me. Exile. It's not coming back. Cauldron's Gift. Uh, Adamant, if at least three black mana was spent to cast a spell, put the top four cards of your library into your graveyard. You may choose a creature card in your graveyard. If you do, return it to the battlefield with an additional plus one, plus one counter on it. That is really good. That's nice. Improbable Alliance, a red-blue. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, create a 1-1 one, one blue fairy creature token with flying. That's really nice, too. Draw a card and then discard a card. Yep. It's just right in there. Oh, Rankle, Master of Pranks. This is a mythic. Hey, Rankle. This is a good one. Um, so, he's just mean. So he's a, uh, costs four total for a 3-3 Flying Haste. Whenever Rankle Master Pranks deals combat damage to a player, choose any number. Each player discards a card, each player loses one life and draws a card, or each player sacrifices a creature. He attacks it's, everyone. It's, he's a jerk. It's, yeah, he's not even good for you. It's Puck. <laughs> he's just mean. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Puck. He's just a jerk. I'm going to set him down. We also have a Swamp and a Rat Token. That will be Squeakity rats. Squeak. I'm gonna uh, sleeve rankle here and uh, put rankle on. Move that on. Sleeve. Rankle likes sleeves. Rankle he's likes a, the BS. He's a good boy. Rankle knows when it's time to go to sleep. Just out of curiosity, um, wonder what he goes for. Okay, let's see what we have here. Yeah, you know, rankle's um. About the seven to eight bucks range. That's a that's a good one. Sorry. You're good. Moonlight no, Scavengers, Barge in, the Foreboding Fruit, Score Cap Spider. That thing saved me from time to time. Oh wow, yeah. We never even found one of those in here yet. He's Not very in this useful. Box. Trapped in the tower. Trapped in the tower. Fling, fling. I love now, that isn't card. Isn't that an old card that they're bringing back? It is, and I love it. Scaldron Cauldron. Barrow Witches. Barrow Witches. Corridor monitor. Yeah, this one's not got a stain on it. Nope. 
Claim of no. Firstborn. I love this card. Whoa, what? It's one gain control of target creature, converter mana cost three or less until end of turn. Untap that creature, it gets haste. Oh my gosh. I know, it's mean. Wait a, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, so that's a um, uh, act of treason for one. Yep. But the thing is, they have to be power three or less. But still, that's an act of treason for one. Yep, which is great. All right, red uh, cap melee. Red cap melee. Another one red. Deals four damage to target creature or planeswalker. If non-red permanent is dealt damage this way, you sacrifice a land. Ooh. So that's a risky one, that but is, that's a fun risky it'll one. It'll kill it. Ooh. A uh, Kenrith's transformation. Uh, enchant creature. When it enters, when Kenrith chance er, that transformation enters the battlefield, draw a card. Enchanted Creature loses all abilities is now a green elk with base power and toughness 3-3. Three, three. It loses all other types. Huh, so that's like um, what Oko does. Oko creates those. Is that Scary Wolf? The Wicked Wolf. The Big Bad Wolf's got a card. When it enters the battlefield, it fights up to one target creature you don't control. Sacrifice a food, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Wicked Wolf, it gains indestructible until end of turn. Oh. Tap it. <laughs> so wait. That is nice. Well, think about it. He can't... Yeah, he won't die. Well, no. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on Wicked Wolf. Mm -hmm. It gains indestructible until end of turn and tap it, so you can't do anything with it. Well, I'm assuming you do this during your attack step. So you attack, you declare you're attacking with him. Yeah, but then you tap him. Yeah, I think... Uh, I don't know what happens if you get the tap command in the middle. Whoa, is that a foil showcase? Yep, that's a foil carver. Dude! That's nice. Very pretty. That is very nice. Wow, look beautiful at that. Beautiful mountain. That is a beautiful card. And I got um, another goat. goat! We need one more goat so we can excited play that card. About, you're excited about that freaking goat? Look at the that, goat! That, look at the foil showcase it's card a in there. Goat. <laughs> All right. He's still a boot. <laughs> I was trying to get excited for him, you know. It's like, like goat simulator. It's a foil showcase. I, I put... All the showcases I found... Actually, I think I found two. I put both of them in little sleeves and... I got them in my thing down here. Okay. I was going to say, as long as it, that thing's okay. It's fine. Okay. I'm surprised there's only three arts that they did on these now. Could have sworn they always did four. They might have toned it down. Yeah, I mean, it's not really necessary. Well, also, they did have a fourth one anyway. It's with um, the collector booster, so that's right. probably what happened. What do we get? All right, yeah, goats eat everything. Fortifying provisions. Moonlit scavengers. Uh, Garenberg Carver. Ginger Brute. No. Finally. No, Actually, four. no, I think you found one. Tapped in the tower. Golden Egg. Idyllic Grange. Um, the Garenberg Paladin. The Eye Collector. Steel Claw Lance. Uh, equipped a creature gets plus two plus two. Equipped to a knight is one. Equipped anything else is three. That's good. That is very good. The Shambling Suit. Uh, its power is equal to the number of artifacts and enchantments you control. I think I tried playing this one, but I couldn't get it up high enough. He was okay. The Witch's Oven. This thing's mean. Yeah. One. Sacrifice a creature. Create a food token. If the sacrificed creature's toughness was four or greater, create two food tokens instead. The Charming Prince. There he is. <laughs> yep, he's here. Um, we finally found the Charming Prince. When he enters the battlefield, choose one. Scry two. You gain three life or exile another target creature you own. Return it to the battlefield under your control at the beginning of the next untap step for uh, a 2-2 two, two for two. Very cool. <gasps> a foil! Foil Grumgully, the generous. Oh it's Grumgully. <laughs> He has to be fun. Matthew, it's Grumgully, and I'm shiny. I'm Grumgully. So generous. <laughs> it's so generous. Here, have these mushrooms. I'm Grumgully. Wait, does it matter what it is? Take it and be grateful. Put him in the deck. You I'm Grumgully. I'm Grumgully. Here's the forest and on an adventure. <laughs> All right, buddy. Yeah, have Grumgully. Grumgully. Foil Grumgully. He's going on an adventure. I'm going on adventures. Because I'm Grumgully. <laughs> why? Why? I don't know why that's his voice, but that's Grumgully. Okay. We're getting uh, near the bottom. Getting there. But still, you found a lot of awesome stuff. I think the probably one of the best ones for the deck you found so far is that uh, what's that knight sword attachment thing? That thing's busted. That thing's awesome. Yeah. 
Also that, uh, no, it's the questing beast. I yeah. forgot about it. You found that questing beast. Switching well. There you are. Ah, the, uh, that's me in the Umbreath Kaladin. I am a You common. do have haste. I have haste at least, though I'm a common. Flash of Thorns. The Rosen Thorn Halibur. Grum Grumgully looks like a mixture of Gruntilda and a Smurf. Grumgully! <laughs> Grumgully! The <laughs> generous! I am so generous! Reeve's Sword. Destroy target creature power three or less. That's nice. That applies to Grumgully! Um, Woven Keep. That's actually pretty good. It's a defender. Defender um, pay five, seven, seven. He gets plus two plus zero against trample until end of turn. It can attack the turn though it didn't have defender because a seven seven. Oh god. Trample. That's mean. <laughs> I mean it's expensive, but still. It can do a lot. It can do it. There you go. Another the corridor, corridor monitor. monitor. The flutter fox. Oh, th I got destroyed by these things. I never found a single one. We get flying as long as you have an artifact. Yep. So good. Crushing drawbridge. Creatures gain haste. You keep Matt away from the mushrooms. Marilyn Mar Pixie. Mar Pixie. This is good. That's good. That is just good. So now you, you can't create anything you don't already this have. This card That's is still. the best one. Righteousness. I love this. Yes, this is awesome. Blocking creature gets plus seven, plus seven until end of turn. I've seen um, playmats of that card. Bell of the Brawl. This is awesome, too. Menace. When Bell of the Brawl. I couldn't quite see it. When Battle of the Brawl attacks, other knights you control get plus one, plus zero. That's awesome. A rare land. Uh, and it's a battlefield. Tap unless you control a forest. Tap it for a forest. Um, four. Add six forest. Spend this mana only on to cast spells or activate abilities of creatures. Very nice. Beautiful island. And a and mouse! mouse. Yeah, yeah, it's like another one of those net gains of um, mana. Hey, any net gain can turn battle Woo! in your favor. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna change it up. Unless you're Grumgully. I'm gonna change it up. This is gonna be the lucky one. Grumgully. Show you it's, it's lucky when you open for Grumgully from the bottom. Maybe you need to put Grumgully on top. I can't of believe it. we found two Grumgullies. <laughs> Grumgully. The foil. I'm foily Grumgully. I'm, I'm so generous. I'm foil. Why is he so much fun? I don't know. I saw it all the guys. It's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Grumgully. Grumgully. All right, here we go. Please tell me there's a Grumgully. <laughs> I need more Grumgullies. Barge in. Ardenvale Paladin. Mistborn River Turtle. No! Quarry. Smitten Swordmaster. Knight of the Keep. Unexplained Vision. Signpost Scarecrow. Uh, yeah, we did see that one. Bacon to a Pie. I hate that card. Keeper of Fables. Uh, whenever one or more non-human creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, draw a card. That's cool. That is quite good. Spectre's Shriek. Target opponent reveals their hand. You may choose a non-land card from it. If you do, that player exiles that card. Non-black. Okay, yeah, we run this one. I just wanted to double check. The Trail of Crumbs. There's a battlefield. Create a food token. Yep, very good. Opportunistic Dragon. There he is. Awesome. Yeah, so uh, Matt and I in the pre-release both got the pre-release version of this guy, which is really sweet. He's a good dragon. Oh, he's a great dragon. He's a very powerful dragon. A Foil Plains. That's beautiful. That's awesome. Throne of Eldraine Foil Plains. That is sweet. We're more excited about this than the dragon. Well, that's because we already have Normal We swamp. have a foil dragon. Right. And a human. This is a haste 1-2 red-white human. When this creature enters the battlefield, deals one damage to any target. That is good. That's mean. That is really good. I like it. Another. Another. Meh. Meh. Another Grumgully. Grumgully. I'm he? not buying what Grumgully is selling. Most likely it's a third he's party not, item. He's not selling you anything. He's, he's generous. generous. He's, he's just, giving it to he's you. He's just giving it to you. He's generous. He's Grumgully. He's giving you his estate with a bunch of debt. He's just generous. He's you Grumgully. Night. Another queen of ice. Ice queen. Very cool. Ogre and rent. Got it. Nah. Giant skewer. Squire. Silver flame ritual. Please get a Grumgully. <laughs> Grumgully! <laughs> I'm more excited about Grumgully than I am the actual mythics now. I collector. I collector. Charm sleep. Charm sleep. Whoa. Okay. Gargoyle. 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 Tournament, Tournament grounds. Oh, you found two of them. This is so good. Deathless, Deathless knight. Deathless knight. Haste. You gain life for the first time each turn. Wait, what? Wait, when you gain life for the first time each turn. Return Deathless knight from your graveyard to your hands. So just keep pulling it. And he's got haste. That is great. 
Come that should be sorry. in a life gain deck. That should be. Escape to the Wilds. Ooh. Put the top five cards of your library. Exile top five cards of your library. You may play those exile cards this way until the end of your next turn. You may play initial... So you can put down another land. Okay, that's nice. You may play the exile card this way until the end of your next turn. So you can just choose which ones you want. Yeah, if you can afford it. That's um, that's, that's a risky. risky. Yeah, that that's definitely and when you're human. down to the last card in your hand. Yeah, that's when you're like, okay, I need to go. I need to figure right. out something. You want to try and turn one to several. That's when you pull out. Grumgully! Grumgully! He's just so generous! <laughs> Parents, what was that sound? A Pokemon? Grumgully! It was Grumgully! <laughs> the generous! I'm so generous! I wonder if he got himself that name or someone called him that one time and he just kind of inflated his ego. <laughs> Am I a 90s cartoon TV show villain? No! I'm from Magic the Gathering! 2019! Grumgully! <laughs> what generous! What generous! It's just the generous part. It's so weird. Silver Flame Squire, Mantle of Tides, Raging Red Cap, Malevolent Noble. Uh, we got him right. Yep, you good. Insatiable Appetite, Tall as a Beanstalk, Barrow Witches, Weapon Rack, Beloved Princess. Excellent. Those are great. Uh, Vantress Paladin, uh, Okame Ranger. I love that card. Foulmire Knight. This thing's great. Um, so you draw a card and you lose one life for his profane insight, and then you bring him out as a one-one one, one death, death touch for one. Kill him. Do it. That's yeah. That's just me. Um, heraldic banner. Uh, as heraldic banner enters the battlefield, choose a color. Creatures you control of the chosen color get plus one plus zero, and then it becomes an add any mana of your choice. I'm still trying to determine how multicolor works with that. That is uh, winning. Like if you have a multicolor card. L what's your question? Like, because I choose a color. Okay, so say you have um, Grumgully, who is uh, red and green. Yeah. Okay, and you say red. He counts. He is red. Okay. And he is green. Yeah. Okay. So that that also that works both ways. So had. if you have protection from green, you're protected from Grumgully. No one's protected. He's too generous. I don't want to give you Ooh. anything. Oh, yeah, so there's a castle of every uh, rare color. So this is the red one Castle Embereth. Castle Unbreath enters the battlefield, tapped unless you control a mountain, add one red. Creatures you control get plus one plus zero till end of turn. So you could basically power them up like uh, um, dragons and stuff. There's a normal mountain and a knight. But no Grungully! We need more Grungully! Where are we gonna find him? His art looks so out of, like, the 80s. Like, what's the... He fits perfectly. Or more like, uh, it's, it was early 90s magic cards. Early 90s Grungully! Grungully! Find out he's actually in every set. <laughs> you just gotta find him. <laughs> just haven't been paying attention. You just see Grumgully. So a thrill of possibility. Battered, battered cow. So tiny. Uh, Rose Thorn. Appetite. Oh, that's the one that lets you add more Yeah, mana. that's the any mana color one. Tempting, Tempting Witch. Witch. Can you raise up a bit? Thank you. The Watch and Battleton. Yep. Witch's Witch Cottage. Cottage. Which is a good. Mm -hmm. Merry Leaf Rider. Sacrifice of your token. So Silver Flame Ritual. Ritual, also good. The Searing Barrage. Barrage. Mythical Dispute. That's a good one. Yep. Uh, Slaying Fire. Slaying Fire, what's that one? Deals three damage to any target. If at least three, it deals four, so it's a burn card. It's a 3-3 three, three burn card, that's not bad. Can you go down or right a bit? Yeah. Sage of the Falls. It's not Grumgully. Oh, look, Coco! Oh, sweet! He creates food! Well, he's he's really good. Target artifact creature loses. Can you uh, raise him up a bit? Can yeah. like kind of look at the camera so you can center him here. Okay, because uh, that's a that's a really good one. Um, so what's I remember that's great about him. I'm gonna fix this for you guys here. There you go. So yeah, um, he only costs three mana to bring out. First of all, that's pretty busted. Um, and he comes out with four. Most planeswalkers don't even get that kind of efficiency, and he gets a plus two and a plus one. Yep. Yeah, um, he's also able to exchange control of um, artifacts or creatures with your opponents. You can give them stuff and take things of theirs, but they have to have, like, power three or less, so that's why he's got that middle one where you can turn things into a 3-3 three, three elk. Which isn't bad. No, it's not bad. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's really good. Forest and a giant token. Oh, cool. I have not seen a giant token. That's pretty awesome. That's a really lucky one. How many mythics have you pulled? 
Uh, Just you, because I, I found one. I have no clue. <laughs> yeah, you don't even know? I found I one. Yeah, I found uh, one. You know what? Just for fact of fact, we're going to count Grungully as a myth. Grungully is a mythic, man. <laughs> Grungully the Generous is also mythic. He, he's not. Rankle of Pranks was the mythic. No, Grungully is mythic. Grungully, I'm so generous with my with my rarity. Because I'm, I'm a mythic. And I'm Grungully. I'm <laughs> Grungully. Can we just make him a character Oh, man, you now? also did, did you, you did you look up uh, Flip the Flip? Yes, I did. Okay, so, yeah, you know who Flip the Flip is now. Yes, I yeah, do. Flip, Flip the <laughs> He's not as good as Grumgully. No, he's not as good as Grumgully. If Throne of Zone Drain had his own movie, <laughs> then the protagonist would be Grumgully. All right, Merchant of the Veil, Youthful Knight, Opt, uh, Spore Cap Spider, Forever Young, Wildwood Tracker, Scorching Dragonfire, Jousting Dummy, Iron Veil Tactician, Giant Opportunity. Like, at this point, we're just trying to get to the uncommons. Yep. Uh, you may sacrifice two foods if you do create a 7-7 seven, seven green giant oh, token. That's token comes from. That is, yeah, that is really good. Um, otherwise, create three food tokens. Ah, so if you don't have the two food tokens, you can't do it. It's a giant opportunity. Uh, Rampant Smasher. If you block by knights or walls. Mysterious Pathfinder. It is a uh, flying 2-2. Each creature you control that has an adventure enters the battlefield with an additional plus one, plus one on it. Very cool. Oh, sweet. This is um, Ariara, first of Lockwain. Um, it's three black for a two three. Whenever uh, Anyara, first of Lockwain, or another black creature enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Sacrifice another black creature, draw a card. <laughs> That's good. Mm, you trigger all that. Yep. Yep. You're triggering all of that. So you're drawing a card. You gain one. You they lose one just for each creature you get. Whoa, look at that foil. That is pretty. So generous. So generous. It was a lo lost legion. He didn't have to be foil, but he was. He's <laughs> generous. He's generous as Grumgully. <laughs> Can we just keep Isle him as a permanent oh, character man. now? Dude, look at that island. I know. The, the, art, the land art in this set is beautiful. It's awesome. On an adventure. Of the foil plant lands so far, that would have been the one. That would have been the one. Oh, man. Can we just... Though you have uh, several decks that play white though you could at least put it in your you just put that thing right in that deck. Deck. yeah that's that's the thing about getting a foil of just a land you can put it in almost anything look at this guy it's not grungly that that guy looks like such a dweeb he looks like that hamster bomb i've seen online no not grungly what a loser Could you, uh, armor can't really see okay uh, tome raider tome raider squire smith and sword master beloved princess beloved princess that's a great one charm sleep Roaming Keep. Yeah, Nursilla and Rotten Vale would be pretty sweet. Dwarven, Dwarven Mine. Mine. That's the common one. Lockwing Paladin. Uh, can you angle a bit? The light yep. is... Thank you. Yeah. Flax and Intruder. Yep, the Goldilocks. Makes powers. Oh, uh, another... It's a duplicate of the Sir. It's the blue one. Cool. This flying oh, deer. Oh, gosh, that freaking deer. Fay of Wishes. Fay of Wishes. Uh, oh, is that the one that you got the uh, showcase? Yes. Very cool. So that's um. That's good. That is very good. Now you got both. Beautiful forest. Forest and, and advert. A to oh, not even a token. No, bad word. Usually, if you get like a good rare or something, you get it's a bummer that they're not even giving you um, like that was a good spin. That was a good spin. They're not even giving you um, like we're down to three. What, what are those things that Pokemon does? Those QR code things you can oh, put on. Oh, we can get it back. Yeah. Why yeah. don't you do that for Arena? Because Arena, you can get free packs easy. It's I, not that hard. Yeah, it's not. You just play the game, but still. Grumgully! <laughs> Glavina still has a better voice than Grumgully? <laughs> he, he might. He might. I'm a dinosaur, and I'm gonna open up this next pack of cards. It's not Grumgully. Blood Ace Wolverine. Shiny Garber. Run away together, like I did with Matt on my way over to the New World. Merchant of the Fail. Oh, you gave up? No, you gotta keep going. A lash of Thorns. Insatiable appetite, like when I get the munchy crunchies. Munchy crunchies. Out muscle, like when that, that hunter suplexed me. <laughs> Blow your house. Blow your house down, <laughs> sorry. I was at it. Make it to a delicious pie. Psycho Scarecrow. Resolute Rider. If anyone's jumping in right now, I feel so bad. <laughs> Sir Fair and the Hedgehammer. I might have to play that. There's three of them. 
It's right. actually pretty good. Burning yard drainer. <laughs> You're right there. Mur- the stroke. Murder- <laughs> <laughs> Murderous rider. Uh, swift end for three. Instant. Destroy target creature or planeswalker. You lose to life. Mm. And then if you cast him, it's a lifelink 2-3. When Murderous Rider dies, put it on the bottom of its owner's library. Why? That's weird. <laughs> um, planes... A, oh, you kind of couldn't get decked out, though. And sure. a food token. We're getting close. We're down to the last three. Grungly! Grungly! <laughs> don't, don't think that's gone. You're next. Glavinous versus You're next. Grungly turn four. <laughs> Glavinus, Gla- you see, the problem is Grungully's too generous. He would let Glavinus win. Okay, can we do a thing where if you and I do online odds for Iceborne at some point, just whatever, like yeah. even if it's just streaming for a day, can we just pretend to be Grungully? <laughs> like we are the hunters of Grungully. <laughs> this Why monster that gave so... me a mantle. How generous! It's so, ge- <laughs> it's so easy. It's like that name is so fun to say. <laughs> it's Grungully. <laughs> I can't help this pack if I'm laughing. <laughs> yeah. This Where'd monster that, gave this, me a mental! Where'd the scissors go? They're over here. Okay. Grungly! I'm having an aneurysm! <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a brain hemorrhage! I'm grungly! That's like... Where are so much blood? So generous! <laughs> you can keep going. I can! <laughs> Four or five positions. Moonlight. Where is that? Grungly! Please get a Grungly! <laughs> grungly! Where is he? He's uncommon, right? Yeah, he's just uncommon. Flutterfox, awesome. Crashing Bridge. Ginger Brute! Ginger Brute! So here, in this whole box, you got three Ginger Brutes, and in my pre-release, I found three Ginger Brutes. Shine Chaser. That is a good card. Uh, uh, Sorcerer's Broom. Can, can you lower? I can't really see. Yep. Okay. Uh, oh, another Rock Dragon. Dragon. Awesome. This one. Oh, nice. Oh, so it's the Lady of the Lake. Can you angle it? The light is... Yeah. yeah. So we didn't get this one yet. So no, we did this not. spell costs one last catch for each artifact you control. Sorry, just up here. Uh, when Emery Lurker of the Lock enters the battlefield, put the top four cards of your library into your graveyard. I can tap, choose target artifact card in my graveyard. I may cast it that turn. That art is awesome. So like, that, that is a play mat. That is a right beautiful there. play That's mat. That's an awesome one. Out of muscle, oh, hello. Oh my god, you have another foil <laughs> suplexing bear. That's so awesome. It's a forest. How generous. How generous. How generous to give me a foil suplexing bear. Okay, here we go. Now. Grungly. Grungly. There are two packs remaining. We need one more grungly. It needs to happen. There's already one and a foil grungly. We need another one. Why do we need more? We need the, is there an altered art? No, no. Ah! Why? He doesn't have a... But that would be so generous! <laughs> <laughs> but he doesn't even have an adventure. He doesn't go on adventures. Because he wants to let other people go on adventures. He wants other people to have showcases. Why is that? that's how generous he is. It's how generous! What were you expecting me to say? <laughs> right, here we go. Please be correct. The Witching Well! <laughs> From my last pack, I gotta do it. The Seven Dwarves! We didn't even get a full playset of seven. No, we only got three. Yeah, this is the third one. The fairy guide mother. Run away together. Foreboding fruit. Out muscles. <laughs> I love how many out muscles we have, and we only have three seven dwarfs. <laughs> Mystic sanctuary. I go there when I'm feeling generous. <laughs> Unexplained vision. <laughs> Night of the keep. <laughs> My voice hurts. <laughs> you can do it. You're almost there. Revenge of Ravens. Actually, what is that? Whenever a creature attacks you or a planeswalker you control, that creature's controller loses one and you gain one. That's just a permanent thing. Yep. That's nice. Ah, the spinning wheel. We haven't even seen this yet. It's nice. We're this far in. We're still getting this. That up. one's good. Three for a tap of any color. And no, it's not three. It's it's just permanent. Three, three to get it. Three to get it. But yeah. then after and that, then you it's can tap you five to tap a target creature. Very nice. <gasps> Grungly! It's Grungly! <laughs> I'm That's done. so generous! I'm so long away, I need a minute. Grungly, the generous! He's so time. generous! Look how generous I am! <laughs> I returned for your last second, the last pack! How your last pack, how generous! <laughs> he 
He's so not even a crucial controller in Battle Royale possible. He's not even that crucial. I really wish one of your subscribers <laughs> did good animation stuff and they could just make a grungly animation. <laughs> grungly! Grungly! They're so generous! I'm so happy. <sighs> the Bone Crusher Giant is the rare. Oh, he is stomped. Oh. Damage can't be prevented this turn. Deals two damage to any target. Uh, whenever he becomes a target... Oh, God, I was spell... Uh, he deals two damage to their uh, controller. He's a four three. That's actually really nice. And how generous! Whoa! How generous! A foil lucky clover, dude. That's awesome. That's very awesome. That's really cool. That's really generous. That's really generous. <laughs> the Grumgully returns. <laughs> we have a swamp and a boar token. Oh, oh we got to show on the internet how sad this is. When this creature dies, create a food token. You eat the boar. That's so sad. That's not generous. But what's even better than a foil lucky clover is another Grumgully. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna play Grumgully, okay? You have I'm to. gonna play Grumgully. You have to play Grumgully. <laughs> How generous! How generous! <laughs> the problem is, like, it's gonna stack. So whenever non humans come up, they're just gonna keep getting plus ones, and every single time you know I'm gonna say it. <laughs> You have to. And you have to say it for each one. Oh, God. <laughs> Every time, even though it's stacked. Every up. time. He gets one plus one plus token. Very good, Grum mother. Gully. How generous. And then Queen he gets one for this one. How generous. Crystal Slipper. Tempting Witch. Uh, Four Cap Spider. spider. Blow your Blow house, house down. down. Bake to a pie. Signpost Scarecrow. Um, Unexplained vision. vision. Glass Casket. Glass Casket. Frogify. Frogify. That's a new one. This one's mean. That is mean. Well, it's all abilities, and it's just a 1-1 one, one frog. Uh, Cauldron Familiar. Oh, oops, almost knocked that. I almost blew my Enter stack the battlefield, down. return it from the graveyard. Yeah. A Murderous Rider oh, alternate art. that's so nice. Is that the rare, too? Yep. Dude, that's so amazing. And a beautiful I'm not even gonna look at it. I'm not even gonna read what it does. I'm gonna look at it. I just wanna get to the tokens there. Okay, wait, wait, okay. I'd say, it's just Murderous, Last murderous pack, Rider. we got another showcase. You got a lot of showcases. This is awesome. This Destroy is really... target creature or planeswalker. This was a good box. Uh, okay, that's busted. What, okay, so it's destroy target creature, planeswalker, you lose two. Oh, it's that one. Yep. Oh, dude, look at that art. How generous! How generous! Grungly! Grungly! Alright, well, thanks for uh, joining us for the many adventures of. Um, excuse me here. Grungly! It was very generous! <laughs> so you. generous! It was very generous of you to join the many adventures of Grungly! <laughs> 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 anyway, uh, like we said, we were just going to open these packs up for funsies. Uh, you know, they are mad. You know, just, um, let's show, let's put down what, uh, we sleeved in here. I had, like, Grungly! a... Grungly! <laughs> Please tell me you sleeved that Grungly. I actually didn't. Why? I, I don't know. I, I should have. I'm sorry. You're a horrible person. <laughs> I am, I know. Uh, anyway, just to show what I found in here, there was a foil, a very, it's hard to see because it's a matte sleeve, but foil, the Lockwain Serpent. Um, this was a, a showcase Okame Ranger. Um, this is, uh, the Mythic I pulled, which was a Rankle, Master of Pranks. Matt got the rest of the stuff, unless you count my foil, Grungly! <laughs> Wherever he is, he's I mean, still getting played. That really does tone down the foil, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, but it protects your cards a lot more. They're, they're it's tougher. Worth it. So here, well, that was, that was a foil, right? This yep, was the sorry. foil of the, uh, Sir Cara the Bold. Oh yeah, let's, we have to make sure we're fair here. Yep, we got Oko. Here, I'll move. Yep, Oko! That is awesome that we got, uh... One of the planeswalkers. See, we did get Bay of Wishes alternate art. Yep, that's a nice showcase. Questing the questing beast. beast is busted. That's just so good. And then we, I got one of these, and then you got the um, the foil one. The foil one of the, which of course they're all they're all mats, they're all his. But we just mean like for the game we're gonna play. Oh no, you get to keep all the grumblies. No, no, yes. no. Yes. They're, they're, but that's too generous. It's so <laughs> generous. That's too generous. <laughs> I'm not one person would ever need three grungly. But think of all the power you could have with think, three grungly. Think of how generous. It's just... All right, but <laughs> this is stupid. Anyway, <laughs> you're just now figuring that out. Yeah, but anyway, thanks uh, you guys so much for joining us for this uh, unboxing of a Throne of Eldraine booster box. Let us know what you think of this. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna continue doing more of these in the future or not, but um, that was a lot of booster packs. It was fun, and uh, Matt and I are generous. very generous, and Matt and I are going to try and play a game with us now. But anyway, that is all the time we have for now. Thank you guys so much for joining us for this, and we're going to see you guys in the next stream. Oh, there's my fingers. Bye-bye.